Made you a cup of tea. Please talk to me. So is that it then? What do you think? I don't want it to be. Sorry. Don't be like this. Cleam. If I'd known it was serious. It's not serious. Who said it was serious? Then what's your problem? You and your big gob. Morning, ladies. Has he gone? For the minute. Oh, listen, love. I'm sorry. For what? I mean, let's face it. You've done me a favour, really. I mean, I don't really need that sort of hassle in my life, do I? No, Jamie's the one for me. Pure and simple. Do you reckon? Yeah. I mean, it's mind over matter, innit? I don't mind because he doesn't matter. Try. What's the time to call this? It's coming out your wages, pal. You can stick your job. Not you and me, mate. I trusted you. She told you then. Women eight! What you gonna do? Nightmares, one and all. What, you think this is a joke? No, I don't, Jason. Violet telling you, now that is the joke. That's the gag of the century, Yeah, pal. and it's on me. Nothing happened. Charlie. You kissed me girlfriend. Like I said, nothing happened. And nothing was... Yeah, right. <clears throat> She's mad about you, Jace. A blind man could see that. Come on, give us a hand with this, will you? Thought you cared about me. Oh, come on, mate. I thought you were happy for me. But the whole time, you are laughing behind me back. Well, that stuff I told you about her, and you set me up big time, you did. Getting a plan, did Jace, are you out of your tree? I was drunk. I could barely stand up. Violet could have been anyone. She wasn't, was she, eh? She was my girlfriend. What is it you told me, Charlie, eh? Every woman's available. You just gotta put the hours in. How much overtime was she with, Charlie? I know you're angry. Maybe I did you a favour, eh? At least you know what she's like. Shut up! You know I'm right. going on? Violet? I'm gonna stay at the pub for a few days. Oh, what has he done now? I better get back. No, no, you're not going anywhere until you tell me what's going on. Look, I know Jason's my son, but I... I kissed Charlie. It was a few months ago now, but, um, I'd had too much to drink. Oh, and you think that's an excuse? No. You of all people! Charlie, for God's sake! I'm so sorry, Eileen. <sighs> well, it's not me you've got to apologise to, is it, love? Look, do you love our Jason? More than anything. Well, then walking out's a funny way of showing it, love. Somehow I don't think Jason would try and stop me. This is my house. I say who stays and who goes. He's locked me out already. He can barely look at me. He'll come round. No, he won't. Are you? And how might I be of assistance? What the hell do you call this? What problem? See, flaming right, I'm sure it's... Well, don't wear stripes then, love. 
How much you got there? 94 quid. 94 quid? You're having a laugh, ain't you? Look, I can see the problem, Lippy. My mistake. I've overpaid you. Mucho apologetico. Hey, are you see, gang? That's what I call class. You lot could learn a lot from her. Carry on. See, I think Stripe's quite suit you. Right, deep breathe and count to ten. I don't think she can count. Then. What, am I supposed to be impressed or something? If you don't like it, Lippy, you know where the door is. It's that big thing there, opens and shuts, lets out a lot of hot air. Bit like your gob, really. You can't do this to me. You see, that's where you're dead wrong, darling. You see, before you were a liberated man. The status quo has been restored, to put it bluntly, Lippy. No more leg over, no more push over. Who the hell do you think you are? You've had your fun, Janice, and so have I. Let's just call it quits, eh? Make it easier, then. Exactly. Don't make this a battle of wills, Lippy, because I will win. Do you reckon? Like I said, love, if you don't like it, you know. And, of course, I'm sure a woman of your age and dazzling personality will have no problem securing alternative employment. What do you mean somebody else has picked it up? Listen, pal, he said he was your son. He said you'd sent him. I haven't got any kids. And now, I haven't got a car. That means you owe me five grand. <laughs> five grand? We owe you not, mate. It's not our fault. I'm talking to the organ grinder, not the monkey. Do yourself a favour, son. Shut it. Make it. Who the hell are you? Put the kettle on, Ty. The customer's leaving. Think you're not, case, do you? Nah. Just grasp me. Is that the bill, Kev? 148 quid. We call it 150 since it's you. Do I know you were somewhat? A couple of years back. Driver's orders in Bolton. New sparks and exhaust, ring any bells. And what are you talking about? You lost your car that day as well. Come on, you must remember that. Not to tinkle. See, now I'm hurt. What's going on, Nath? It's a scam, old school. Right, I'm ringing the police. I'm going. This is not finished, boy. Not by a long stretch. Would that be cash or credit card, sir? <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, I hate South Paul's. I think I'm gonna have to charge you for the extra labour, mate. Is this how it's gonna be, then? We ignore each other, pretend like now it's happened. You started it. Yeah, and you finished it, remember? Well, don't blame me, blame Janice. I just don't need this echo in my life. Yeah, well, that makes two of us, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I was bored anyway. Mm-hmm. I know. Me and all. Still. It was nice while it lasted. No regrets, eh? Oh, you know me, babe. Easy come, easy go. Would have been nice to have said a proper goodbye, though, wouldn't it, really? You know, done it with a bit of style. Gone out with a bang, you mean? Something like that, yeah. Still, we'll never know now, will we? What was it that you had in mind? Nah, forget it. It's better like this, clean. Yeah, but I'm a dirty girl, remember? Well, when you put it like that, what are you doing tomorrow night? I told him. Yeah, I know. The wounded little soldier was round here earlier. He's really got it bad for you. Almost broke my heart. You really don't care? Of course I care. He's a good worker, is our Jace. We hurt him. We hurt him. You're the one who told him, not me. <clears throat> Maybe you should ask yourself why. I love him. Just like I love Chell. You and me are peas in a pod. I am nothing like you. Give them my regards, OK? Saw so you moving in. Good to see you sticking together, very 
forgiving person is our shell. Stay away from the Rovers. Can't do that. Sorry. The place is too many happy memories for me. I hope you two work it out. If not, you know where to find me. Can't believe both my men are going away at the same time. I'm going to feel proper abandoned. Well, went yourself some chick flicks. And there's a case of Chardonnay in a wine cellar. Oh, you think I'm staying in? I'm going out on the town, mate. Yeah, maybe me and Leon can go out together, check out the talent. <laughs> and Keith's pig might fly. You'd better bring me back a present. What do you want? A bunch of tulips or a pair of clogs? It's a business trip, babe, not shopping. I'll be lucky if I see daylight. You bring me back something nice or don't bother coming back at all. Yeah, I promise. Don't you want to spend any time with me? No, not really. Why? Thought lover boy were away in Holland. Yeah, yes, it's just I've got other plans, that's all. You are seeing that rat. Janice, do you know what, you dirty little liars? You both promised me that it were all over. It is. We're just saying goodbye. <laughs> well, it's the first time I've ever heard it called that before. Janice, don't look at me like that. You told me that Jamie was the only one for you. Yeah, he is. It's just me and Danny want to wend it properly, in style. You want to get caught? No, we don't. We won't get caught. It's all planned. Jamie will be in Holland and Danny's told Frankie he's got a conference in Glasgow. So we have one last night together, then that's it. Just come to bingo. Oh, Janice, keep out of it, will you? I know what I'm doing. We have one last night together and then that's it. Forever. <laughs> will you talk to her? Is there any subject you want me to talk about? Creepy Phil the Foot Fiddler. Mm. I'm just saying maybe I overreacted. I mean, I didn't give him the chance to put his side of the story. What story, Mum? He took advantage of you. He took advantage of both of us. I know, but... Well, I... you've got to be very careful nowadays. There's some real nutters about. He's not a nutter. Is it so wrong to give someone a chance to explain their actions? I've never liked him. See? Do I have to consult you two every time I meet somebody new? Well, you'd do better if you did. I don't pass judgement on your friends. Oh, Mum, you pass judgement on every boyfriend I've ever had. Yeah, it's true, you do. <clears throat> Look who it is. I, I took these CDs by accident yesterday and I know that you really like them. You set this up. Well, somebody had to do something. Come on, Eileen, we're off. No, I'm off. And if you were straight, I'd dump you on. Am I supposed to be offended by that? I think you should just be grateful. You check the van for legal immigrants. <laughs> I had to kick out a family of mice. They wanted to start a new life in a windmill in old Amsterdam. Right. This is a special delivery, son. Don't screw it up, OK? I'll be fine. In fact, I've got ages. I was hoping we could have a chat, you and me. Chat? What do you want to chat about? I don't know. Stuff. What stuff? Life stuff. Oh, you want to chat about life stuff? OK, I'll chat about life stuff. Life goes on in the chat. I've got a plane to catch, son. Hiya. All right. I Morning. I'll let you go without saying bye. <laughs> All he got was Frankie pestering for a present. Yeah, well, we have our own ways to show we care. Oh, you're going away as well? Yeah, yeah, Glasgow. All business, no pleasure. Oh, well, you never know. <laughs> well, I better get going, eh? Wheels of industry wait for no man. Have a good time. You too. And Jamie, I'm relying on you, son. Bye. ta -da. What are you going to wear? And don't say your snakeskin jacket. I'm not looking down how to marry a reptile. Could wear me suit. You can't suit? Yeah. I'll tell you what you could wear. What? That tight little orange dress. The one that always gets me going. Ooh. Orange? Orange? I'm not getting wedding orange. You may have been married before, but this is my first time. I want full Monty. It's white or nothing. I don't care what you wear, my little apricot. I'll love you all the same. I'm wearing white. Some are puffy, lacy and silky, with wings. Wings? What do you want wings for? So I look like an angel. Wait, wait. Yeah, I know it's only 28 pence, but right. every little helps, eh? Thanks very much. <laughs> Leanne! Leanne! What? It's Jamie's son. I think he's been in an accident. Fine, honestly, I'm okay. We were so worried about you when we saw the van. I think it looks worse than it is. What happened? I don't know. One minute everything's fine, next minute there's clouds of smoke everywhere. Woo! Lots cop to me. 
How fast were you going? You must have been giving it some welly. Well, looks a big job from here. Come on, boys, I've got to get this delivery to Holland. Holland? Not much chance of getting this thing to Viaduct Street. You checked the oil before you set off? Yeah, I checked everything. Everything was fine. Well, it's not fine now. Look, this is an important order. If I don't get it there on time, it's going to cost Underworld big. You've got to get me back on the road. Yeah, come on, lads. If anyone can fix this thing, it's you lot. That is very true. Well, we have worked milkers in the past. Ooh, the trouble is, we're up to our eyes in work. Uh, hang on a minute. You've been saying calf all morning. You can't be that busy. What time's your feather? Half twelve. <laughs> no no way. <laughs> There's another one at four. What do you reckon, boys? I reckon you better start praying. Well, you know me, I like the challenge. Yeah, go on, we'll give it a go. But no promises. Nice one, lads. Um, where do you think you're going? To see your mum, if she's around. She doesn't want to talk to you. Is that what she said? Well, we trusted you and you took advantage. Can I talk to her, please? I just told you, she doesn't want to talk to you. You look fantastic. Can you see me wings? You took your time. Saw your fill outside. Really? Don't look like that, he's a creep. What was he doing outside the house? He wanted to explain. Oh. Mum, here's bad news. Don't waste your time. Do you think that's him? Yes. Did you tell him I was here? I told him that you didn't want to talk to him because that's what you told me last night. Maybe he'll go away. Gail! Gail, I know you're in there. Can we talk, please? Answer phone again. Five minutes, that's all. Gail! <laughs> Don't mind us, you carry on. Gail, please let me in. <laughs> if you let him in, I will never respect you again. Gail. I feel a fool talking to a letterbox. People are staring at me. Please, Gil, please let me explain. I never met a girl like you before. <laughs> As they say in the song. Oh, hey, I'm being serious. <laughs> Good. And I never felt like this before either. I mean, I'm not just in love with you, I'm head over heels in love with you. Yeah, me too. I'll be honest, I've been, I've been dreading this trip. Because I don't like being away from you even for one day. I miss you like crazy when you walk out of a room. I was going to leave this till I got back, but... Leave what? I can't wait any longer. What are you doing? <clears throat> are you mucking about? No. I've never been more serious about anything in my whole life. I've been thinking about this for ages. Don't look so nervous. It'll be all right. Jimmy. Liam Batsby. Will you marry me? This is the best thing that's ever happened to me in my whole life. Mine and all. I'm going to look after you and love you, Leanne. No mess, and I mean it forever. I know you are. Da da! One van, ready to go. Cheers, Tyrone, mate. Um, you had gasket went, but we sorted it. Blinding, mate. Blinding. <laughs> Blimey! <laughs> Better not tell you about the spark plug. Sorry, I one. Thanks very much. No props. I don't want to go now. I don't want you to go. Well, come with me then. I can't. Yes, you can. Well, how? Well, I'll get the van, you get your passport and sweet talk, Roy. <laughs> what am I going to say? I don't know. I need to go clock shopping or something. Leanne, say anything. I can't be away from you. Not now after this. All right, yeah, I will. <laughs> 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 OK, so I'm a busy mate, but this is me being totally unbiased now. Sean, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, well, you're going to. All I see is two people in pain. And why? She kissed him. It meant nothing. Might mean nothing to you, pal. She said sorry. Danny, hey, it's me. Listen, someone's come up and I can't make it tonight, so I'm just letting you know. OK, bye. Jen! Hiya. Jamie said we'll marry him. <laughs> News flash! Half this firm belongs to Lloyd. Well, we can't both do the interviews because we've got a lot of work on. Look, I know you find it hard sharing your sandpit, no. but I am just saying he will kick off. Well, let him, because I've got local knowledge and he can't argue with that. It's crikey. Is this all you can rustle up? Brendan Price. Fair enough. 
Ronnie Clayton. You know who that'll be. Dodgy Ron. Who? That's Gabby Ronnie. Rough as a bag of nails. He's never coming round here. Yeah? Where do you get these names from? They weren't me, it was Fatari. Oh, brilliant. Flipping Lloyds, mate. And there's you sticking up for him. Uh, what, what about your local knowledge? You should have known he was a waster. He's got a right filthy temper as Ronnie. Ooh, and a right up to match. GBH, you name it. Got his own personal bunk in strange ways. Don't look at me. Well, you can't cancel on him now. You'll have to get rid. Quick as you can. Say something now. Pine. My lad in the Turk's head. You got on the wrong side of Ronnie. He had that much metal in his arm, they wouldn't let him on a plane. Look, Les, buddy. <laughs> um, why don't you uh, stick around for a while? I mean, I might need a bit of backup, you know what I mean? Well, I would, Steve. But this is your gaff. I'm just a driver. Who's going to pay my wages if I'm eating hospital food? Oh, well, thanks very much, mate. You're welcome. Hello, Flower. Where to? I'm here for a job, not a cab. I'm Ronnie Clayton. Hey. My real name's Veronica, but I don't use that, cos, well, would you? Uh, right, well, uh, I'm Steve. Uh, why don't you uh, come round the back? Pretend you haven't seen me, Gail, I would. Sorry? You're not getting a bit tired of this, love. I never said a word. Look, we all get crushes, and when we do, we often see things that aren't really there. You speak for yourself. Oh, I am doing. It's just that when I feel let down or a bit humiliated, what I don't do is act like it's someone else's fault. Gail, can I just talk to you, please? And say... So? Thanks. Hiya! Everything's sorted? Oh, yeah. Passport? Of course. And I've also raided the cabin and I've got some CDs and all. Good thinking, Mrs Baldwin. Come here. Mwah. Come on, then, let's get going. There are two settings, comfort and massage. I'm assuming that's not your only reason for coming round? No. I was going to give you a demo as well. Come on, Gail, how daft is this? You could have told me I was daft without bringing a foot spa. Hey, can't you tell when a man's trying to say sorry? There's no need. Well, no. We could carry on as we are, I suppose. But that's not how I want us to carry on. What do you want? Gail... Everything was fine between us. Then suddenly, bang! Why? Well, the reason I can see is we've got a few wires crossed. Yeah, and we all know who that's down to, don't we? That'll be me. I meant Eileen. No, really? It's not all her fault. She's a nice enough woman. She must have got her ammunition from somewhere. All right. <sighs> Guilty as charged. She thought there was something going on between you and me, and I played it down. Why? I don't know. No, I do. Because I knew I'd crossed the line as far as professional conduct was concerned with you. Well, I'm sorry I led you astray. I wish. Can't we wind back, Gail? Go back to day one, meeting for the first time, having a laugh, you really think we can pretend none of this happened? You remember how it was when we started, don't you? You used to smile a lot more then. And the kids! That was just something you used to moan about. As people do when they're getting to know each other, which is all I want us to do. But maybe you don't. No. No, I do. I just don't see how... This is where the rot's set in. I'm clearing the air. Will you have dinner with me tonight? 
Don't look at my photo. So, um, what makes you want to work for streetcars? To earn money. So, anything else you want to grill me about? Um, no. No, everything seemed in order. Right. First one to see it sees, got to shout out. See? What does a winner get? The last toffee one. Oi! Right, just for that. Oi, right, that was mine! Mm. <laughs> right. Your choices are a lemon one, a sherbet one, and a lemony sherbet one. What's the matter? Can't find my phone. Thanks a lot, babe. I mean, here I am on my own. I've got the champagne on ice. I'm ready to rock. And by the way, I've had to pay over the odds for our special room. And I'll take it from the silent treatment. You want me to beg? Well, you know me better than that, don't you? And all I can say is you wanted it yesterday, and whatever you're playing at, you want it now. They sent the Anne. It's me. Hello, babe. Oh, sorry about that. I think we got our wires crossed a bit there. We did what? You remember when you set the fire alarm off at the hotel? Well, ever since then, me and Leanne, we've had this joke about it, right? Which is, whenever I stay at a hotel, I always give her a bell and say, so where are you then? And, um, are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, everything you heard me talking about there, that was all part of the gag, right? Funny, yeah. Only, to be fair, I didn't know you was going to be the one answering the phone, did I? So that's probably why you wondered what was going on. I must admit, I did a bit, yeah. So, what are you doing with her phone, anyway? Just left it in the cab. Oh, right, oh. Well, there you go. That's all right, then. That's cleared that up, innit? You must think I'm really, really stupid. No, 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 no. Listen, babe. All I'm saying is it's just... It's just a joke that's gone a bit wrong, that's all. All right, so where are you, then? Where am I? Well, I'm in Glasgow, aren't I? All right, so give me the hotel number and I'll phone you back. No, won't do that, will you? Cos that'd give the game away. Tell me where you really are. You want to talk about this, then get yourself back here. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. What do you want? Just wondered if you'd be wanting a reference. I haven't got a job yet, have I? Yeah, well, for when you do. Tell you what, let's have a drink. And you can tell me what to put. What were you like? I'll be in the Rovers, yeah? About what? Eight o'clock? Love, I'm on my way home now. Frank, you listening, babe? What? Just don't do anything till I get there, love. All right? Not till I talk to you. 
What am I supposed to do? I don't know, like talking to Leanne or Jamie, please. Promise me you won't do that, right? Just to get here. We won't be late. Wait, let me. Can be as late as you like. Yeah, hello, but we won't be, so I'll see you later, OK? Bye, Sheila. What are you going to talk about? Richard Hillman? Ignore her. Come on, then. Try and get out of it some other way, cos I know you're gonna... What, so you're admitting it? Admitting that you've been having an affair with her? I want to put it like that, yeah, I'm, I'm admitting it. An affair? With your son's girlfriend? I don't believe it. I don't believe that I'm standing here listening to you say it. Frank, if I could lie my way out of this one, love, believe me, I would. For all of us. But I can't. So, yeah, I've been seeing her. Not what you'd call regular, just now and again, you know. Mainly hotels and that. Well, like the one I followed her to. Yeah. You were there all the time. And you sent her out to con me, and you even got me to apologise that I'd suspected her. Frank, you can go on accusing me and accusing me all night, and I, 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 mate, I have got no defence, absolutely none. Too right. So you were standing there, and you are telling me that you've been having it off with your son's girlfriend? You are the lowest of the low, do you know that? Do you? Well, you are. I mean it! Well, so do I. Is there any use in me asking why? You know why, Frank. She's a sexy girl and... ...on me. A bastard! Frank, don't cry, love. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. What, that you got found out? Oh, yeah, of course you are. Oh, yeah, but... Oh, so... I'm sorry you had to find out like this. You've got to believe me, Frank. Suit yourself, you can believe me or not. But tonight we're going to be the last time, I promise. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be now, does it? Because she's going to be free and you are going to be free. No, listen, what? Frank. You think that we can all just carry on as if nothing this has happened? No, no. You really think that? Frankie, Frank. You rotten, evil... Frank. 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 You Frank. hate you! Just get off me! Frank. We are free! We are finished! No, Frank. We are That's not finished. what I want. That is not what I want, Frank. No, it's what I want! Who cares what you want? We all know what you want. Leanne bats me in an hotel bed. That's what you want. Where is she, eh? Leanne? Yes, Leanne! Where is she? I don't know. I've got no idea. Yeah, she phoned you on your mobile, yeah? Left you a message, yeah? Yeah, but that was just to say she weren't turning up. I... At least there's that in her favour, Frank. Wait there. Where are you going? To have a word with your tart. And what's that going to achieve? Oh, you'd be surprised. Oh, and I'll tell you what you can do, shall I? You can start packing! Hello, Shelley love. How are you? All right, thank you. We'd like two pints, please, and take one for yourself. Thanks. Has Leanne Battersby been in here? Not that I've noticed. Uh, don't think so. I suppose some people just are too busy to be polite. No, the inclination. That's uh, one fifty change. Shelly, love. Yeah. You know it's not far off my wedding. Only I've still not got my dress organised. And then a thought occurred to me. What about that dress of yours? 
You'll not be wanting to keep it, will you? Not after what happened. Do you think I could have a lend of it? For goodness sake! Are you serious? Oh, why not? I'd have thought she'd be glad to get rid after what happened when she were wearing it. Yeah, but you can't just ask like that. It's all right, love. Just ignore her. Now, look. That's terrible. I told you. I don't know what all fuss is about. What's she doing? Saving it for next time. Who else do we know has been jilted? She's gone to Holland with Jamie. Did you not know? I didn't know. Well, what do you want it for? Or do I not need to ask? Ah, oh, flaming hell. I've got somebody at my door now. Yeah? It's Frankie Baldwin. Can I come in? Uh, yeah, right. Uh, just, uh, <coughs> push the door. I've got your flaming wife here now. I thought you might have. What is going on? She's found out about me and Leanne. Oh, no. Yeah. You stupid, flaming idiot. Right, well, uh, I'll have to go, love. Janice, she doesn't know that you know. Right, well, thanks for phoning. All right, love, see you later. Bye. I tell you, it's your Leanne I'm after. Oh, no, you've just missed him. She's gone to Holland with your Jamie. You joking? No, I saw him go. What do you want to fire? You sure you went hiding her somewhere? Er, uh, now listen here, lady. You can't just come round here and start talking to me like that. Well, it's just a bit convenient that she disappears just when I want to speak to her. I've told you. They're in Holland. So you'll just have to wait. Oh, yeah. Come on, finish your drink. We'll go to the flying horse. No, we won't. Shelley, love, you can't. Right, here it is. I hope it's luckier for you than it was for me. Oh, thanks, Les, look. Yeah, very nice of you. Well, she's right, isn't she? What reason have I got for wanting to keep it? Enjoy your big day. I intend to. <laughs> you haven't got any shoes to go with it, have you? Come on. <laughs> you were a rat. The biggest... Nastiest rat on the planet. Probably. Your own son's girlfriend. Yeah, listen. I still I... can't. I can't imagine what has been going on in your head. Did you find Leanne? Or hers, for that matter. So, so what? She she went from his bed to your bed and then back again, and you don't see anything wrong in that. You're an animal. No, no, you're not. Because there isn't an animal on this planet that do a thing like that. You're worse than an animal. You didn't find her, did you? I hate you. I hate you! I hate her, but I hate you more! Obviously, you didn't find her. She's gone to Holland with Jamie. I see, right. I will never forgive you for this. Never! No. And if you think that I don't mean that, then think again! Oh, and everyone is gonna know, because I am gonna tell them, and I mean everybody! Oh, you don't like that, do you? Well, what a shame, cos they're all gonna know. All your friends, your relatives, all them women across there! I'll do anything you want. Too right you will. Divorce? Yeah. This house, anything. All I'm asking you, don't tell Jamie. Oh, is that all? <laughs> tell him I was playing away, Frank. Tell him anything you want where that's concerned, but please. Not that it was with Leanne. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose him, love, and I? I will lose him for good. You may think I deserve it, but I'm asking you not to, please. I've told you it won't happen again, which anyway you know, cos Violet wouldn't even look in my direction. Well, would she? I don't know, do I? No, well, you don't. You really don't. Yeah, OK, so she wouldn't. So what this is really about is you not wanting to lose face. Well, you haven't. You made your point. But enough, yeah? So come back to work. And in return, I'll be best man at your wedding. Who says I'm going to be marrying her, eh? It's obvious. Deal, yeah? Yeah, OK. And when I decide what I want out of this, then I'll let you know. I am sorry. 
Nobody's ever been as sorry, but it's happened, Frank, and I can't do anything about it now, can I? No. You can't. I don't like looking at me either. I ain't slept, you know. The whole night I've just had these pictures in my head. You and her. You've been in our bed with her? No. You a liar. Frank, I wouldn't do that, love. Yes, you would. You'd do anything. What about that time me and Jamie took Carol back to Birmingham? Left you two here together. I told you it was just hotels. Liar! Think what you like. I intend to. Anyway, the reason I've See, come... See, I can't believe anything anymore, can I? Not a single word you ever say to me can I ever believe for the rest of my life. Your own son's girlfriend! And I will never forgive you for it, never! So go on. What is it you're gonna say? If you want me, I'm gonna be staying around at Mike's. Well, I don't want you. Why should I? I'm saying if. There is no if. I don't want you. OK. I couldn't touch you. I can bear to have you near me. And do you know why? Because I'll be thinking of you there. Thinking of you touching her. Fine. OK, well, even if you don't want me, that's still where I'm going to be, staying around at Mike's. Be where you like. And, um... The other thing, um, is, well, it's what I asked you last night. Please, can we keep this from Jamie? Tell him I've cheated on you, sure, but we're going to have to tell him something anyway, aren't we? Because he's going to see I'm not here and want to know why. But I'm begging you. I'm be... Please, Frank, don't tell him who with. Because doing it, if you tell him, what would you be doing, mate? You'd just be... You'd be hurting him, wouldn't you? Making it worse for him. And worse for you. Yes. Because I'll lose a son, I know that. And is that what you want, Frank? You don't want that, babe, do you? You don't really want that. So he disowns me. And don't have a dad anymore. What I want. You'll find out soon enough. Oh, right, I guess. So you're gonna punish him, is that the idea? No. Well, that's what you'll be doing, love, won't it? Think about it, you tell him. You tell Jamie about this, and he will suffer more than any of us, I promise you. He will suffer. So, uh, are you gonna tell us then? What? What's the matter with Danny boy? And why has he moved out of this place and in with you? Who says he has? Candy. She just texted her. Honest. Look. Come on, spill the beans. There aren't any beans, all right? And if there were, I wouldn't spill them. I think Jan's going to ask him. <sighs> no. All right, if I have a word. I bet you already have, ain't you, Lippy? Chatting out there with your slack jawed mates. I haven't, no. This is my stepdaughter caught in the middle of all this mess. It's going to be bad enough for her. We aren't having it broadcast. Yeah, of course, I'm sorry. Well, look, there was something else that I didn't tell your missus. Mainly because she couldn't keep a civil tongue in her head, so it's her own fault. Yes, which is? They're planning on getting word. Who? Leanne and your Jamie, who do you think? <laughs> Which is why she went with him. Because they can't bear to be parted. I just thought it was something you ought to know. All right, thanks. All I'm interested in is protecting our Leanne from the worst of it. I don't care about anything else. Well, that's fair enough. But I'm telling you, the best thing for them is they'd have eloped because it would have saved them having to come back here and find out what was really waiting for them. I cannot eat and drive. Some can. I can't. I don't eat. That's one alternative. I do. This is um, one of our partners, Mr Maloney. Um, this gentleman wants to wear with you. Me? Or Steve. All right. Is it um, 
Is it a job you're after? What would I be after a job for? I've got a film of my own, damn sight bigger than this. Oh, aye. Which one's that, then? You know Connect Cabs? Who doesn't? Yeah, well, that's mine, that is. The name's Jimmy Clayton. Aye. How'd you do? Yeah, I've, um, I've heard folk mention you. Nothing good, I hope. No. So, um, what can we do for you, Jimmy? I'm hoping you can do me a favour. Yeah? What it is, my wife, who's a lovely lady, except she does have a mind of her own. Ah, we don't want that, do we? You do now. Anyway, we've had an exchange of views and she's packed her bags. Oh, dear. Thinks she doesn't need me anymore, thinks she can support herself. I just want to make sure she can. I see. Well, actually, no, I don't. She used to drive a cab, yeah? Yeah. Now, my guess is she'll try and do that again. So I'm just doing the rounds, asking guys like you, do me a favour. If she shows up here, don't take her on. What's her name, your, your wife? Veronica. Except she doesn't like that. Ronnie is what she'll be going by. She hasn't been in already, has she? No. No. What Janice told you? Yes. Well, why didn't she tell me, eh? Does it matter? I'm telling you. So now you know, don't you? So you can think about how you're going to respond, all right? Think about it? I don't need to think about it. He is not marrying that tart except over my dead body. What do you expect? You think this is going to make me keep my mouth shut, eh? No. But I'll just turn up to the wedding wearing a big hat. Look! Believe it or not, I don't want him getting married either, all right? Why? Because you want it for yourself. Oh, shut up, you crank. Well, why not? You're both going to be free, aren't you? Please. Frankie, they're going to be here any minute. And all I'm asking is, like before, we just do not tell Jamie any more than we have to, OK? And all I'm saying, like before, is I'll do what I like. Yes, well, I'm sure you will. What, like you did, eh? Isn't that exactly what you did, sleeping with your son's girlfriend? And now you're trying to tell me what I should and shouldn't do? Yeah, go on, get out! And don't ever bother coming back! So we're going to tell him now? Tell him what? Tell him what? About us getting married, what do you think? Well, I might have changed my mind. No, you haven't. Come here. Come on. <laughs> Hello, mate. All right. Are you going to tell him or shall I? You can. Um, <laughs> well, hang on, because uh, I've got something to tell you first. And, um, well, you might as well hear this and hold Leanne, because it concerns you. As Jamie's girlfriend. Well, she's not just my girlfriend. So, uh, please listen, this ain't gonna be easy. Um, Frankie's found out I've been seeing somebody else. Another woman? Another woman, yeah. And uh, I can't tell you who. Does Frankie know who? She does, yeah. Well, Alyssa, was it? Are you messing about with? No, no. No, no, but some slag, right? Well, it doesn't matter who, does it? And that's uh, something you're never going to know because it's just got nothing to do with you. I'm only telling you, Jay, because... Well, because Frank has given me the boot and, you know, you was going to notice sooner or later I just weren't around the house. You idiot. I am. After you promised, when we all moved up here. I know. He promised he weren't going to mess around with any other women. I did. So why? Why'd you have to bring this all up again? Because... Because... I'm a man and I am stupid. Yeah, you got that right. So anyway... And did you think about Frankie? No. No. N not at the time, though. No. Um, I'll leave you to it, eh? Where are you going? I I'm going home. I'll see you later. Good timing, Dad. No, really, that couldn't have been more perfect. Cos you know what we wanted to tell you, you and Frankie? What? We're getting married! I asked Leanne if she wanted to marry me, and she said yes. Congratulations, sir. Yes. Yeah. Well, how did she find out? Oh! Because she had your mobile, didn't she? And I just rang it thinking I was talking to you. Oh, no. By the time I realised, it was too late. Well, couldn't you have... I don't know, lied your way out of it or something? What, you think I didn't try? You promised! Yes, I know. This is all your fault. I didn't want to go to that stupid hotel in the first place. Leanne. Please, this is not helping, love. Yeah? So what is going to help, eh? Nothing. Look, 
The best we can hope for is that I've asked Frankie not to tell Jamie. Then, OK, my marriage is on the rocks, but at least I've got a son who's still talking to me. What's going to happen between you and Dad? It's hard to say. I've only just found out what he's been up to, so... I'm still coming to terms. Me and Leanne have been talking about getting married. Have you, darling? Yeah, I couldn't wait to come around and tell you. Then, uh... So who is she, then? This woman? Does it matter? So what's going to happen? Sweetheart, I don't know. You see, we've been through this sort of thing before and I thought it was all right now that we'd come through it. Come here. <laughs> We're going to sack it because her husband says we have to. No, we're going to sack her because she got the job under false pretenses. What false pretenses? She doesn't have to tell us that she's got a private life. Yeah, but it's not private, is it? And forget the rights and wrongs, mate. She's trouble. Big, serious trouble. Is that what we want? I suppose not, no. Has somebody complained or what? Why should they have? Because I barely had time to get into fourth gear when it's get yourself back here. We need to talk to you. Two of you. A two-boss situation. I thought I might at least get through today unscathed. What have I done? It's still your dad. What's a pity? Hey. Well. I'm sorry we've loaded this on you. It's not your fault, is it? Anyway, where are you going? Bit of business to sort out. I'll see you later, all right? All right, see ya. Uh, sit down. You live here by yourself? No, no, I, uh... I live with my mum. I'm in the middle of a divorce. Oh, so... So I know what it's like, yeah. Except she probably didn't knock you about, did she? So you don't know what that bit of it's like. Look, um... What's happened is your husband turned up this morning and asked us, would we not employ you? Cos that way, if you haven't got a job, then you'll have to go back to him. <laughs> in his dreams. Only, uh, he doesn't know you're working for us and he still doesn't. Doing the rounds, was he? Telling everybody, yeah. So now it's like I said. You're gonna sack me. No, it's like I said, no, we're not. Well, then what? I don't know. Yours, I believe. Look. What happened shouldn't have done, but, you know, takes two to tango. You think I don't know that? Yeah. Well, all I'm saying is just don't come here blaming me, that's all. Well, go on, then. Say what you came to say, why don't you? I was waiting for you to do that. Me? Mm. Well, what do you want me to say? It shouldn't have happened and I wish we hadn't done it, but, you know, a bit late for that, isn't it? So you and Jamie are planning on getting married? Yeah, we are. No, you're not. Not anymore. You are not marrying him. Not now. Not ever. Yeah? Well, too bad. Because I am. So, uh, I don't know what Jimmy will do when he finds out you're working for us. Everything he can. But, um, you're not leaving. Even if you wait to. You might regret that. I'm trouble. Remember. I oh, know. You're not marrying Jamie. Only thing up for discussion is how we call it off. Either I do it by telling him about you and Danny, or you do it. Just tell him you've changed your mind and get out of his life. Yeah? Why should I do that? Because if I have to tell him about you and Danny, it'll devastate him. 
So I'm giving you the chance to do a bit of good for once and save him that. Oh, but don't be under any illusion. I will tell him if I have to. Whether I do have to is down to you. Couldn't find your way to the spare room. Oh, do me a favour, will you? Oh, Dad's gonna go mad when he sees you polished off that single malt. That was a present. Yeah, well, I'll get him another one, all right. Do you mind? This is what I watched on Sunday. Listen, Adam, you don't want me at work tomorrow with a filthy mood, do you? No, but... Good, cos the way I'm feeling right now, son, I'm just waiting for someone to wind me up, and you are right in the firing line. I live here, you know. Listen, word of advice, for your own good. Do one. Hiya. Feels weird knocking. You okay? Yeah. I was just wondering, you know what we said about maybe doing something this weekend? Do, do you fancy the pictures tonight? No chick flicks, I promise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. That'd be good. I'll pick you up in the pub later. Cool. See you then. Great. I think it's great they've got more women drivers over there because a single woman like me, when you're on a night out, you do not want to end up with the likes of Les Batters back. I've been warned about him. Oh. she's all right. Mind, it's a good little business he's set up there. Settled him right down. He used to be right terrible. Work. Was he? I am in the room. Lloyd seems all right, you know. Oh, yeah. Stubborn as mules, the pair of them always butting heads. <laughs> I know the type. Oh, look, I see, yeah. Uh... Fiji's got a new president. Well, I'm sure you can handle the pair of them. <laughs> well, this one's a pushover. So, Ronnie, is that short for Veronica? Oh, please, don't call me Veronica. I could call you Vera. Yeah, <laughs> and it'll be the last thing you ever do, sunshine. So, have you got kids? Mother! I'm your mother. I'm allowed to be nosy. No, no kids. Oh, well... I can't stand here gabbing all morning. I did promise Bev that we'd actually do something. <laughs> well, it's very, very nice to meet you, Ronnie. Likewise. <laughs> See ya. How about a nice big drink later once we sort of our lumber? It's just a job to me, right? Not still sulking, are you, you big girl? Get off me. Oh, here we go. You not back together again? I'm just working. I'll see you back in the yard, mate. I don't believe this. After everything, the hard time you gave me. Violet, it's a job. I mean, where do you get off telling me what I can and can't do? Do you know how many nights I lay awake crying my eyes out because of what he did? And then what, hey presto, he just clicks his fingers and... Forget it. Violet. She's over there now on her own. This is between them, Jay. I oh, know. That's what Frankie said. If it happened to me, I'd probably want to be on my own and all. Yeah, but it wouldn't happen to you, would it? I'm not like my dad, Leanne. You know that, don't you? Of course I do. She looked like she wanted to say. But she can't say anything to me, can she? She can't slag off my dad to me, cos... Well, cos she's Frankie. If there was something I could do, then... Well, why don't we go around there? I'll just make myself scarce. There may be you and her. No, no, she won't talk to me, will she? She hates me. No, she doesn't. She's really warm to you recently. Please, Leanne, I'm begging you. I can't just sit here. It's none of... It's none of my business, babe. Don't say that. You're going to be family soon. Of course it is. Look, just for half an hour. It'd mean a lot. Six churches have tried. Methodists won't give me the time of day. The Jewish place was closed. On a Sunday. Can you believe that? Have you tried the big Catholic one at the roundabout? This place I tried. The Catholics are having none of it. Because well, you're divorced. Because we're not Catholic. What kind of attitude is that? 
No wonder church attendance is down these days. Exactly. And all the others, they want you coming Sundays for flaming months before. What's all that about? I suppose you want to make sure you're sincere in that. But I don't believe in God, me, do I? I don't want me pitching up there every Sunday pretending I do. Oh, no, no. I'm no hypocrite. No. All right, Frank. Let's pop round for a cuppa. You two sit down, I'll make it. You're out of milk, Frank. I ain't been out. Oh. Well, I'll pop out and get some things. It's all right, Jay, I'll go. No, no, no. You stay here, keep Frankie company. Need anything special, Frank? No, I'll leave it to you, shall I? Okie doke. Give us girls a chance to have a nice chat. Well, I must say, you're not doing a very good job of cheering me up, are you? I'm sorry. It was all over between me and Danny. Don't tell me. Just a bit of fun, was it? I'm gonna go. No, you are not. Not yet. Listen, we both care about Jamie, don't we? Neither of us wants to see him get hurt. Do you know how hard I'm trying not to grab that ugly, lying face of yours and smash it into the table? You care about Jamie? You're poison. It was all over between me and Danny. A stupid mistake. Get this straight. The only reason I'm not out there shouting from the rooftops what a little slag you are is that it'd break Jamie's heart to know what a callous scumbag his father is. But believe me, I would rather that than see him end up with a lifetime of pain and misery married to you. Yeah? Well, if I finish him, he's going to end up heartbroken anyway. He'd get over it. Only way to deal with a cancer like you is to cut it out. How are you two? Yeah, great. Had a nice chat, didn't we, Leanne? Mm. Well, I've got some cakes. That's great. You'll have a nice cake, won't you, Lee? Well done, mate. Looks like your little chat has worked wonders. They'll be judged themselves in the great hereafter. Them and their damn rules. The church took everything from me. But you know, one thing they could never take from me. Whiskey. My God. My faith. They could never take that away. This church of yours. Ah. It is a place of true religion. My haven. They can't touch me there. So, can we use it? Maybe love you, don't we? Come on. <laughs> Do you understand the concept of mobile phones? I left it at the flat. Well, then you don't understand the concept of mobile phones. You all right? Not really. Lee? <laughs> Sorry, Jay. I don't want to do this. Please, darling, what is it? I love you, Leanne, more than anything in the world. As long as I'm here, nothing can hurt you, all right? Come on, what's the matter? It's Frankie. I sort of let it slip about you and me and the wedding and that. I know that my timing was the worst possible, but... What did she say? Well, she just went off at me, stayed screaming and that, really nasty. Well, she's not herself at the moment. Not after what Dad's done. Look, once she's had a chance to let it sink in, she'll be made up honest. Will she? She's always hating me. Oh, it's not about you, Leanne, I promise. Give her a couple of weeks and she'll be arguing about table decorations, I swear. I know. Why don't we just run away? Me and you? Well, like Gretna Green. No, no away for good. I mean, what is it for us around here anyway? We could go to Europe or we could even go to Australia. Nice idea, if we weren't both brassic. Maybe one day, love, eh? Yeah, but we want our wedding to be special, don't we? Of course. Well, how can it be if Frankie and your dad are each other's throats all the time? Us planning our big day? What would it be like? We'd hate it. We both would. You're saying we should postpone it? 
I swear to you, nothing or no one is going to stop me walking down that aisle, right? But when we do it, I want it to be perfect. Not like this. You're not peeping, are you? No, of course not. Only one thing I want to hear out of your mouth. It's done. Wedding's off. What, just like that? That's what you wanted, innit? No. What I want is you and Jamie finished. Yeah. Well, I can't just bin him off, can I? Never mind that it'll hurt him. He won't believe it. He'll just come after me. Listen, I don't care how you do it. Just do it. Whatever you think, Frankie. I love Jamie. You've got a pretty sick way of showing it. so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for whosoever oh sorry Len oh come on Les I can't wait I know it's not perfect but once all the flowers are in a few candles oh well, this is Father Abraham is this an action man with his caps off it's representational you don't like it like it Funerals and all. Because I'm going to blame it well. Throttle you! Hey guys, where are my concerts for you? We finally have a winner. Just stay calm and stick to the plan. As long as Frankie thinks you and Jamie have split up, you're laughing. Laughing? And you've even managed, amazingly, to make him think it's a good idea. Yeah, but I haven't split up with him. I just convinced him that we should postpone the wedding. I said we don't want to rub a nose in it. Well, you did nick a bloke, love. Some might say you set that little ball rolling. For what it's worth, I don't think she will tell him. She loves the bones of that lad. I mean, what's she going to say? Oh. By the way, your dad's been bedding your fiancé. You're about to lose the two most important people in your life. She's not going to do that to him. Right, am I going to take this first shower, or are you? Well, if I go into work, I'll see her. I can't. Look, Leanne, you've got to carry on as if nothing's happened. You can't let Jamie twig anything's wrong. Yeah, but all it'll take is for him to tell her we haven't split up, and then she will twig, and then she oh, will tell him. Leanne! Oh, you just go and have a shower first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I missed my vacation. I should have been a fireman. And oh, what a loss to reflexology that would have been. You'd have to dial 999 every time you wanted to see me. Leave me chip panel. <laughs> You've not tasted my cooking, have you? Is that a good thing? Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart. <laughs> Do you swear as much? Never in front of a lady. What are you doing tonight? Hopefully, tucking into your signature dish. Uh, let me guess. Deep fried Mars bar? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, sweetheart, I mean, there were certain men in my past. Well, <laughs> there were a lot of men in my past, actually. But there were certain men who stopped me acting like a mother to Gail, your man, and got me acting like a woman. I'm sure you know what I mean. I mean, call it hormones, whatever. So is that why you and David don't like this film? No, I would. I just don't trust him as far as I can throw him. Well, I bet Gail thought the same about a lot of my men friends. I mean, she probably thought the same about Alfie, but I'm telling you, she would have been wrong. Yeah, but Grandad Alf didn't want to do some stupid interview about weird stuff. And I know he's apologised when we've moved on, but... I just feel like he's got some weird hold over my mum. 
And the last time a man had a hold over my mum, look what happened. Oh, Sarah. Oh, I don't even want to feel like this. Do you know, I'd give anything to be made up for her. You know, egging her on, getting the gossip. But I just remember being scared because the bloke she chose was bad through and through. And my daughter nearly died. Her daughter nearly died. Your daughter nearly died. And you nearly. And I just, I can't even see beyond that. And so I'm sorry if I seem down on the bloke, but it could be Brad Pitt at the minute and I'd still be feeling like this. Oh, yeah. oh hello, love. Hi, hey, all right. <laughs> what do you think of these? I'm seeing Robin tonight and I want to pull out all the stops. Well, I won't get any flowers from here then. Go to Bloomin' Lovely, you know, get some nice hand-tied ones in the precinct. Oh, I bet Dev would love to hear you say that. I'll tell you what, Dev can whistle them flowers are minging. Frankie as it goes. It seems different this time. I mean, she's acting like this is it. Game over. Normally she just rents and raves for a pit and then goes shopping, but... Well... Coffee, Mr Baldwin. Sorry, am I interrupting something? No, no. Do you want a coffee, Jay? No, I'm all right. Uh, would you like a biscuit with that, Mr Baldwin? Because Haley eventually got the barrel open with a shoehorn. <laughs> no, no, you're all right, Sal. Thank you. Well, anything you need, just give me a shout. You all right, Dad? What's the matter? I love you, son. What? Never forget that. What's going on? Is there something you're not telling me? Nah, me and Frankie will be all right, you know. She's just reached saturation point, that's all. Can't blame her, can you, poor cow? She'll be okay, give her time, you'll see. I promise. All right. What do you want? Just been showing you down the street. Oh, I had them in. Oh, all right. What are you listening to? It's the point of telling you, you won't have heard of them. Uh, am I done? Space dust. Space dust? Whoa. Great band. <laughs> I made them up. <laughs> Mm, all right. Sounds like a band. Uh, listen, David. <clears throat> About the weekend. I'm sure I'll get over it, Dad. We're years of therapy. I'm not really bothered to tell you the truth. You've got your new bird on go and I'm not on the radar. Look, I know that in the back of your head, you've hoped that me and your mum are going to get back well, together, you know but... Around in my head? But it just ain't going to happen. Why? Because when you were shacked up with your mum, she were, like, 30-odd. And still a bit fit. But now the age gap means you're 30 odd and she's decrepit. Don't talk like that about your mum, David. What are you defending her for? Fancy her or something? No, I don't fancy her. I fancy Robin and we're more than happy. I'm just sorry that you find it difficult to understand, but it's just the way it is. Dad, I've come here on my dinner break to get away from teachers patronising me. I don't need you doing it as well. Okay. See ya. Dare say you will. I think it's time she and me had a, a night in, eh? Just the two of us. Will you take that? Yeah, yeah. But I thought you were saying Phil. I mean, wasn't he doing your neeps and tatters? Mm -hmm. I want to make sure my baby's okay. Hey, do you think she's all right? woman in here and had her heart broken by a fella. I want to kill him. You know, I go to bed at night and I think about all the ways I could bump him off. You know, she had the right idea. Yeah, thingy bob it. Her husband's dude her off. Luella. Lorena. Well, something like that. Yeah, they've all got weird names. Mm. These Americans, haven't they? What was that fat one called out at Cagney and Lacey? Oh. I bet she was nowhere near as good looking as you are. 
You know, my Ken went off with someone once. Wendy, his secretary. She'd a face like a smack backside. <laughs> I was so offended. And she was no spring chicken. I hope he'd give him a good slap. <sighs> he moved in with her. Tracy thought she was great. I was devastated. I thought it was the end. But it isn't. Not if you've got good friends. Not if you've got good kids. It will be all right, Frankie. I've just got to give it a bit of time. Mary Beth, that's it. <laughs> Is he still seeing her? No. Tell me something, Salita. You're supposed to be my mate now. When I first moved up here, I thought Danny had slept with you, but he reckoned he hadn't. If you're really my mate, then tell me the truth. I didn't know he was married. He said he was single. Thanks. I know I can trust you now. I might change my name to Mary Beth. Maribeth Grimshaw. It's got a ring, isn't it? Hey, did you know Deirdre means sorrow? Yeah, well, that explains why you're in here. You're drowning them. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing later? I'd have to think. So I says to her, I says, Pam, will you drop it? It's only a flipping swivel chair. But no, she has to email senior management. She CCs it to everybody in the office. Deirdre's nicked me chair. I could have smacked her. No, tell her to swivel. I have a good mind to send another email round mentioning what she got up to in the stock cupboard at Margaret Frayne's leaving do. Was it shocking? Well, put it this way, the old punch hasn't worked since. Oh, look who it is. Frankie, do you want to leave? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Hi, Danny, what can I get you? Uh, usual for me, Violet. Close your mouth for him. I'll see you later, girls. Thanks for the drink. Bed. You're gonna have to have a look. I'll come with you. Frank. I'm going home for something to eat. And my programme's on tonight. Oh, with the red hair, does the grandma. Look, I know Dad's been a prat, but you've got to sort it out. No, Jamie. I'll see you later. Come on, Sneak. Do you want a drink, mate? Uh, no, thanks. Why are you being so nice to her? You're going to miss your program. Don't even speak to me! Come on, this isn't fair. You've got to sort it out, both of you. Just run that by me again, Jamie. You and Leanne are still together, yeah? Well, yeah, why wouldn't we be? I thought you two had finished. Not finished, exactly. Look, just because we're going through a rocky patch... Rocky patch? Or whatever you want to call it. The wedding's off. Well, no, it's not off. It's postponed till you two get your act together. Our act will never be together. Frank, you don't mean that. And even if it's true... It's true, all right. OK, all right, fine. Even if it is true, there's no need for our problems to ruin their lives, is there? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not really sure I want to get married now anyway. You what? Well, it's not really a good advert for it, is it? We're not going to be like them, are we? Don't judge me by his standards. Listen, can we go somewhere else, please? I'm nothing like him. Yeah, I know. Right, so we're going to get married then, yeah? Look, I know Leanne ain't your idea for the perfect daughter-in-law, but I love her and I want to marry her. And you don't want all this to get in the way of my happiness, do you? Good, Jamie. Can we go home, please? Jamie. Frank, 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 don't do this here, love, don't you? Please. Stay here, I'm gonna... No. <laughs> Frankie, please, let me talk to you. Talk to you? I'd rather rip out my own tongue and nail it to the wall. Yeah, I know, I don't blame you, but... Big ear. Please, for Jamie's sake. Hi. Hi. Finished for the day. That's me, yeah. See you tonight. Um, well, actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. I'm glad I called you. What's up? Change of plan? Sort of. Same old venue. I just can't make it. That's not a sort of change. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I could come to yours if you prefer. Well, it's just that uh, I need to be with Sarah tonight. Any particular reason? She's not very happy at the moment. Me and you. She doesn't approve, does she? 
she just needs time to come round to the idea, that's all. So, um, we don't want to rush into anything, do we? Okay. Fair enough. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks, Phil. I was trying to let him down gently. Pull the wool over my eyes. That's what you were trying to do. Make me think you'd finished with Jamie when all along you were just buying time for yourself. How much do you think you'd need, eh? No, it wasn't like that. How much time do you think it'd take for me to forgive and forget? If I live to be a hundred, if I live to be a thousand, I will never, ever let you anywhere near my Jamie. Do you hear me? Never. You two are finished. One way or another, you're finished. I love him. Oh, that's a new one. Love is sleeping with your boyfriend's father. Don't see that on many Valentine cards. When I first started seeing Danny, I'd split up with Jamie. Don't you dare. Don't you dare make excuses for this. I'm not. I was wrong, yeah. I messed up, but just let me try and explain. I don't want to hear it. I was out of order. I was wrong. I was having me cake and eating I'm it. I'm not listening. I know all that. But then I made my mind up. Jamie proposed. I said yeah. What, do you think he'd have proposed if he'd known? I chose Jamie. I went to Amsterdam with him. I was supposed to be meeting Danny in this hotel. God, you've been living the life of a I left Danny a message. I don't know if he got it, but I made him a message. And I swear to you, I'd finish with him. It was over. It was finished between me and Danny. Oh, and now you've finished with him. I can have him back, can I? I finished with him because I love Jamie. And that's why it's so hard to do what you want me to do. I'll do it then. I'll tell him. Why hurt him? because I don't want him marrying a vicious, scheming, evil, two-timing little bitch like you, that's why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two-timing, yeah, I love that one. But the rest, no. It wasn't an evil scheme. I wasn't setting out to hurt anyone. And you know Danny. You know him better than anyone. The gift of the gab, the patter, the twinkle in the eye. <laughs> he fell for it, same as I did. I wasn't going out with his son at the time. No, you were babysitting him! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> no, we're not so different, me and you. But the difference is, I'm not going to take him off you the way you took him off, Carol, because I do love him. And if you love him too, don't hurt him for no reason. Please let me finish with him in my own time. Otherwise, he'll lose his dad as well. Is it all right? What's going on? I, uh, I told Jay we should keep out of this. Get but... out of my house. Oh, come on, Frank. Get out! Come and take him, will you? Look, maybe you should come too. They obviously ain't finished, eh? Hey. He doesn't. He lives here. You don't. Come on, ain't you go back to work or something? Hey, let me know what happens. Jamie! Ah, oh, I managed to sweet talk your way back in then. I'm working on it. Just a matter of time. You'll be lucky. Get back to work, you're late. And you're finished. You still here? What did she say? You got some ground to make up this time, Dad. Yeah, but I like a challenge. You're pathetic, do you know that? Yeah? I give pathetic people a bad name. The chronically pathetic are out of my league, son. In fact, I got relegated from the pathetic division years ago. But do you know something, Jamie? Head down, bit of hard work, I could scrape in at the playoffs next season, couldn't I? Be back where I belong in no time. You don't know when to stop, dear. God loves a chire, son. All you are, all you've ever been, is mouth and trousers. Come on. I love you too, son. Last night, uh... You were in the bath and Scooter was over there cutting his toenails and uh, the news were on. They started talking about independent financial advisors. And bang, it all came flooding back. They were talking about pensions. I was reliving a nightmare. I don't go anywhere near the canal anymore. I wouldn't even go into my own garage. And at work, I'm taking down a patient's details. First name. Richard. A shiver goes down my spine. Happens every time. I meet someone. 
They seem nice, but then I think, oh, he seemed nice. I don't trust my own instincts anymore. That's why your opinion really does matter. I would like to get to know Phil better, but part of me was glad of an excuse not to go round to his house tonight, because what it could lead to terrifies me. Getting close to another man again absolutely terrifies me. So if uh, you tell me not to risk it, I won't. Mm, that's not fair. That's like blackmail. You can't use me as an excuse not to see him. That's what you want, isn't it? I'm, I'm just not sure about him, that's all. Well, neither am I. How do I get sure? I suppose you've just got to go for it. Go for it? Yes. Just be careful. Morning. Who would... Am I dreaming? I know. <laughs> Pinch me. <laughs> See, who are you? Sure is. Are you kidding? Don't push your luck. So, son, what's the matter? No more babysitter off? <laughs> Take no notice, Andy. My lad here is a bit of a prude. Andy? His name's Andy. I think I'm going to be sick. I'm too tired to argue with you. I know, Liz. That sounds like bragging. Seems like I've got so much to brag about. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Frankie, well, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. So is she not coming in at all, then? I'm afraid not. Look, I do apologise. It's the lunchtime rush and I'm snowed under, as they say, with paperwork. It's all right, Ray. I prefer it when it's busy. When you're ready, Leanne. Most of the time. Yes, Gail. Lasagna, please. Snap. Orange juice. Tea for me, sir. Mug. Hot and warm and... Thick enough to stand your spoon up it. Right. And the good news is, I've cleared the air with Sarah. She understands that I need a life of my own. And the bad news? Oh, you're a little ray of sunshine today. Gail, I'll back off if you need me to, as long as I know that you and me are still all right. Yes, we are. Seeing you like this, with uh, a day in between to catch my breath, it's good. Don't tell me you've got an appointment at two. Day off as well. If I'd known, I'd have cooked for you at home instead. And a backing off, no strings attached kind of way. Still could. Well, you'd have to give me a head start. There's like a midden. My place. Excuse me. No, we're uh, we're okay. Food's good, and um, on me, by the way. And the service comes with a snarl. What? Carol. What are you doing here? Do you know? It'd be nice, just once, to turn up here and not be greeted with suspicion. <laughs> it's just a surprise, that's all. I don't know why. Proper little Taylor and Burton, aren't you? Engaged one minute, off the next. Is it you? Are you getting cold feet? <clears throat> no. What then? Money? People go overboard on weddings these days. <laughs> no, it's... Oh, you should have rang your mad woman. He's, he's off in Glasgow. He's not back until tomorrow. And Frankie and Danny are away as well. Is that why I've just seen Frankie bring the milk in? What's the problem? Come on, I won't bite. It's Frankie. Well, what's it got to do with her? Well, she's upset, family stuff. I don't really know the details. Well, that's no excuse, not for a grown woman. Well, it was Jamie's idea. He didn't want to rub salt in the wound, you know. What wound? Is she having a breakdown? Does she need more notice before she can pick a hat? No, no, she knows that we're going to do it at some time, but it's just now's not the best time for her. For her? She made you put it off? <sighs> Carol? No, wait, Carol. Leanne? Jamie, well, thank you for interfering. I want to know, that's all. Come on, Danny, pick up the phone. What do you want? Where are you? 
Berry. Yeah, we'll stay there because Carol's turned up and she's asking very awkward questions. You got a moody on because it wasn't your idea. What? My boy can think for himself, you know. I'm no great fan of Leanne, but... Come in, make yourself at home, I don't... But Jamie is. And if she's the girl he wants to settle down with, then who are we to stand in his way? I ain't standing in his way. You spat your dummy out. Who says? You ain't it right for Jamie. You said so yourself. Oh, maybe. He deserves but... someone who'll make him happy. Oh, so what? He can always divorce her when he comes to his senses, can't he? You don't miss a chance, dear. I mean it. It's no big deal. The breakdown of a marriage? Of course it's a big deal. He's been playing away again. Danny. If they can do it with you, they can do it to you. I warned you. Yeah, I got what I deserved, I know. So let me get this straight. What's upsetting you is Danny. You're a grown woman, Frankie. I'm sorry you've got troubles, but come on, put a show on. You do it for your own boy. Oh, don't start all that again. My Jamie's second best. Second best? He should be so lucky. When it comes to priorities in this house, he's two down from the cat. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, can't it wait? I've got to get this... No, it out. can't wait! I'm fed up of hiding how we feel about each other. We're not hiding. We're not from anyone that counts. Your mother, you mean? Carol, what about her? She's just turned up again. Had a right go at me. Well, where is she now? Oh, I don't know. Causing Mary Hell somewhere, probably. I don't want this, Jay. Let's just go away, eh? We could go to London or Glasgow, Amsterdam. I don't care where. I just can't stand another row. Let's just go away. Please. If you're angry with Danny, take it out on Danny. Leave Jamie and Leanne out of it. What do you think I've been trying to do? You made them call off their engagement. Who does that help, eh? Nobody but yourself. Oh, look at you. All those years on your high horse slating me and Danny because we used our kid as ammunition. It's not the same. He's a sensitive boy, Frankie. He likes to keep people happy. I swear, Carol, I'm doing this for him. He doesn't know the ins and outs and I need to keep it that way. Oh, there are no ins and outs. You're a control freak. And Danny's wised up to it, so now you've got to pick on someone else. Do you know what? You're going to lose him. Him and Leanne. And where will that leave you, eh? It's cold out there, believe me. This is different. An affair's an affair, unless... He loves her. Are you sure? She meant nothing. Oh, who is she, anyway? You're too old for babysitters. And he's never shown much imagination. So let me guess. Some little slapper from the factory. Younger. <laughs> yeah. He likes them younger, you must remember. You probably thought she was a dozy cow. But you should have given her more credit. Cos there she was. In your bed. With your husband, right under your nose. I'm not the one to blame. And you took your eye off the ball. And he betrayed us. In the worst possible way. He couldn't have hurt us more if he tried. Oh, and you never want anyone to get hurt. Not Jamie. Because if he knew, well, that'd be the end of him and Danny. She never wants to make anybody choose. But Danny hasn't left you any choices, has he? So now you've got to say it. Your dad's a bastard. No, I... I just can't. You can't what? Can't bear to see anybody else happy? I can't let him marry Leanne. Why not? Because that's who it was. It was her. It was Leanne. Who <laughs> Daddy was seeing. <laughs> His own son's girlfriend. <laughs> Carol, no. Carol. Carol! To them to sort it out between themselves, us going away might be the wake-up call they need. And what about Frankie? What about her? And my dad. We can't just up and leave him. Yeah, well, this isn't the first time it's happened, is it? No, but it is the worst. Jay, I want us to be married. But not like Frankie and your dad. Solid for keeps. Who is it? Jamie, it's me! Open up! Oh, 
Jake, it's always going to be like this. They're turning up and badging and taking over. Jake, we've got to think of ourselves. I'm not being selfish, but we've done all we can. Jake, you've changed me. I don't feel in control anymore, but I reckon that's how it should be, yeah? What's put this on? Is that your answer? You're supposed to say yeah. Darling. At last, love's young dream. Mum, what are you doing here? Didn't Leanne mention I'd been to see her? I said you'd be busy. Come on, Carol, let's go. What's this? I'm trying to run a business here. Jamie, listen, I need a sample. Running over to Shelton's a bit double kick. Do that for me, son. Good lad. You still here, Carol? I'm impressed. That's quite a hotline you two have got. Where were you? Did you drop everything and drive over? Shut her out, Frankie. I ain't shut the door behind you. There's a good girl. Do they ring each other a lot? No. Well, listen, it shouldn't take you more than half an hour, son, but if you want to hang around, there's a cracking little boozer next door. I might even mug you to a plough person's lunch, eh? I met a bird who said that to me once. It's unbelievable, isn't it, eh? Don't you think it's time you stop palming him off like a child? All of you? It's called love, Carol. Is that what you call it, Leanne? Jamie knows how I feel about him. Does he know how you feel about his dad? <laughs> she has been on the bottle or something? Carol, come on, then. Sober as a judge, me. <laughs> That'll be the day. Get her out of here and get some coffee down her a bit sharpish. Not you, Jay, not... Carol. Did you never suspect? The in-jokes, the excuses. Why didn't you learn? You saw what happened to me. Mum. Ask your father. I ain't playing games with you, Carol. Pack it in! What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. It's all in the past, son. You don't need to know. Dad. You know if you don't tell him, I will. Shut up, Carol! Tell me what! You just get out! Get out! Tell him! Tell me! <laughs> it was Leanne. <laughs> the person I've been seeing is Leanne. Jamie, you've got to listen to me. It was you. <laughs> Look. It was the biggest mistake of my life, son, but it's over. I promise it's over. Look, you walk away and let him think he's won. It... It's killing you. Admit it. He hasn't won. You do the decent thing and turn your back on me, then he will have won. Don't do the decent thing. Do the right thing. Stay with me. Give me warm and nice. All that crap about moving away. Oh, we still can. You just want it out. You'd have me ditch Frank and ditch my job and start again in some grotty little bed sit. Then three months down the line, you'd find yourself another man. No. With money in his pocket and wife and kids at home. No, I don't care about money. You know that. I finished with Danny the minute you proposed. Am I supposed to be grateful? It means nothing. He never did. And neither do I. No, I know it looks like that. Because it is. No. No, Jay, it's, it's different. It's, it's separate. I can't explain it, but it was nothing to do with you. It was nothing to do with Frankie. Liar. I mean it. You never took a call from me while you were with him. While you were in bed with him. Liar. Your son's girl. You bought your son's girl. You're a sad, greedy old pervert. Yeah, well, maybe I am. Maybe I was just off me head, eh? My old man had died, my business weren't doing much. Oh, my heart would break for you if it was the first time. But you're like a tomcat, Danny. You stray. <laughs> you're loving it, ain't you? How can you say that? 
because it's been a long time coming, Carol. And I wish it had never come. Right. He deserved to know the truth. Even if it destroyed him. Well, whose fault is that? It's not mine, it's his. He betrayed his son. Again. I told you to leave things alone. Jamie didn't deserve that. He needed to know the sort of person he was marrying. I would never let Jamie marry Leanne. It ain't about Leanne. You as well. It's all about me. Isn't everything? Frank. Boy, this has got to be your finest hour. Hope you're happy. We've got precisely eight minutes. Time for a cup of coffee before and a cigarette after. Can't believe I said that. Why, Mrs. Platt. That's a devious mind at work in there. David! Will you turn that down, please? I'll let myself out. Pay for it, all right? We're all paying for your drinking, Carol. Where are you, Jamie? It's only to shift this headache. You can drink yourself to death for all I care. You're only here because I'm not having you run off leaving this mess you caused me. Take my mess, sweetheart. It's Danny's. Well, that's right. You carry on your little vendetta. I'll worry about Jamie. Shouldn't you be at school or something? We got reading week. Coming on, is it, your reading? Isn't that my dressing gown? It was in the bathroom. Yeah, where I left it. Should I take it off, then? No! <laughs> Surely can manage. You can both take it off me if you like. That was a joke. Oh. <laughs> so I was about the Grundies. Used me copping off pants that day, we copped off. Oh. And there was me thinking it were totally spontaneous. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the plan? Hmm? After you'd copped off with my mother. The plan? I think he wants to know what your intentions are towards me. Oh, right. Uh, intentions. I think you could show me better in there. <laughs> Sorry, I went off. I had to get out. Oh, no. They did this to you, too, you know. We look after each other, eh? How long has this been going on? Did you say, Carol? How did you find out? It came from her, didn't it? He's hardly going to volunteer it himself. Why didn't you ring? I've been up in mind with worry. What do you mean it came from her? I wanted to tell you, Jamie. I swear I... You knew? Not long. How long? 
I wanted to tell you, James. How long, Frankie? Come in, sweetheart. Let me make you something to eat. You're as bad as the rest of them. That's not true. Jamie, wait. Get off me. Jamie! Anyone ring me, tell me he was back. I've been worried sick. Good. Well, I want to see him. He ain't here, so get lost. Oh, of course he's here. He's not. And if he was, you'd be the last person he'd want to see. Shut up! Frankie! She don't want to see you either. What is this, some kind of support group? You've got Bit Midler in there? If I had, she'd hate you and all. Hi. Hi. Just going for lunch. Do you fancy? Oh, yeah, well. Somewhere very up market. My kitchen. I've heard of that. Only well, last time I couldn't get in. Well, I did say you could come in and stir Bethany's spaghetti hoops. Sorry. I would have invited you in, but well, it's the kids. I mean, David, he's he's at that age. Only about David. Yeah. Just David. I don't want to rush things. No. But I'm inviting you now. I've got a client. Not right now. I need to set up the room. OK, um, I'll see you at work then. OK. Unless I could cash in that lunch for an evening meal. Tonight? Uh, yeah, tonight it'd be... I'm sure I could juggle. Sorry, I thought you meant tonight. I didn't want to rush things. Well, um, whenever then. It would be lovely. Tonight's good. My treat. Every salt removed today will be chipping in a bit towards dinner. Think of that. That's my favourite. I mean, well, Mr. Baldwin, um, this delivery is meant Not to go to Not now, Denzel. highly. Well, it's just that Jamie was supposed to take it this morning. It's an exit route. I thought I'd better say something, the health and safety and everything. Well, he ain't here, love, is he? Eh? So how's he supposed to move it? Tell him what's it. Oh, well, it's just the health and safety one. If you're interested in your own health and safety, Haley, get yourself back behind your machine, all right? Now, go on. Hey, hey, you can't talk to her like that. What's brought this on? Gossip in your own time, Nippy. Not mine. You've got a morning to make up. What, uh, what gossip's this, then? Do you know something, Jan? Hmm? We found out who Ms X is here. Oh, Ms X. Uh, the other woman that she chucked him out over. Yes, I know, I've gathered. Well, if anyone can find out, it's our Jan. She's got a woman on the inside, so to speak. So go on. Has Jamie found out and told you all the Anne? Do you know, I don't know why you find other people's marital problems so entertaining. So, come on, let's hear it, then. <laughs> I know, now, mate. Oh. You just can't stand the fact that I'm his mother. His blood. And when it came down to it, I couldn't keep a secret like that from my own blood. You could. Get out! Do you know, if Steve marries Ronnie, she'd be Ronnie McDonald. <laughs> and he'd be John Brown with his body mouldering in a grave once her husband found out. Where do you think you're going? What's it to you? Well, if you're looking for Jamie, he ain't here. And if you're looking for me, I ain't here either. Where is he? Well, if I knew that, Leanne, I'd be with him, wouldn't I? Explaining just how little you mean to me and how much he does. Yeah, blaming it all on me, I suppose. Oh, don't worry, love. You'll find another squeeze. Dad's are harder to come by. Yeah? Well, if you'd have kept your big gobshot, he'd have had us both, wouldn't he? You think I'd let him marry you the way you've behaved? Are you <laughs> serious? Hey, Baldwin! Dad, just leave it. Back What's going on? Well, oh, whatever it is, I'm sure they don't want rubber neckers. You have one more Dad, thing on her than I want you to listen to me. I wouldn't Dad, for a gold clock. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Baldwin, not Silla, surely. Silla's Miss X. He is twice your age. You should know better. Shut up. Shut up. Give that over there. Just leave it. You wait one more thing on her in the morning. You wouldn't for What's happened? Leanne's Miss X. I thought you didn't like gossip. <laughs> Looks like Charlie's not the only leper in the colony. Oh, you Shut your trap. I've got your trap. Shut your trap. I'm telling you, Bobby. I love you, Mappy. Shut up. I'm telling you, Bobby. Shut up. I love you, mate. Oh, trap. Shut up. No, I don't. Shut up. Hiya. What's this? National wear Steve's dressing gown day. Well, you wouldn't let Andy wear it. 
You're not back again, are you? He's not left yet. I'm Ronnie. Andy. Not your brother, Andy. No, he's flaming, isn't he? It's my mother's thing. Oh, yeah. How did you two meet? Is there any chance of you getting up today? Only I would like the place to myself for a bit. She had a flat tyre, I pumped it up. What about you two? Well, I need a shower first. That sounds nice. That's it. He employed me. Sounds a bit suspect. A bit suspect? Me and her? I suppose we are a bit. I'm your employee. I'm married. Makes us seem quite respectable, really, doesn't it? Soon sort that out. Shower then. <laughs> Tell me what I can do. Do? To start again. To persuade you it's you I want. Look, I know this is a mess. But all I've ever wanted is you. And that's the honest truth. The honest truth? That is a laugh, the honest truth. Tell me one person who's been honest with me. Just one. You've all lied. I'm not lying now. I wanted to marry you. I still do, more than anything. You said that you love me. I do love you. No, you don't. Jay, I love you loads. Stand up, then. Go on, stand up. And walk over there. And keep walking. Go on! You don't want me chucking myself up here. Why not? Let's see how much you love me, then. Enough to marry you for keeps. But not enough to walk off there. Not enough to show me the respect. Not enough to stop yourself sleeping with my dad. I know how much I've hurt you. No, you don't. <laughs> Do you think I would ever take you back? I'd rather see you walk off there. And that's the honest truth. And I'm the one that never lies, so I believe it. Well, if I knew that, I'd be with him, wouldn't I? Telling him how sorry I am. Yeah, but you don't know where he is, dear, so it's business as usual. Back to work. Don't let a little domestic matter interfere with your profits! Listen! You can't hate me any more than I do, Frank. Yes, I can. Jamie's angry with me. Tell me what I've done to deserve that, eh? You made me keep it from him, you! Well, you didn't do a very good job of it, did you? Don't you dare! Don't you dare blame me for this! Only you've done wrong here. You and that tart, Leanne! I love Jamie. Everything I did was for him. Everything I did was to protect him. To try and stop you ripping his heart out like you did mine. Listen, Frank, I didn't mean for any of this to happen, I promise. But I love the pair of you. I really do. Then you should have thought sooner. You're too selfish and you're too stupid. You've destroyed this family and you've destroyed your own son. Come on. <laughs> Let's get you inside. Don't waste your breath on it. <laughs> you did. Oh. This place was tidy when I left. Never said anyone was visiting. Matter of fact, you said no one was. Hi, David. Cheer it up. He's seen it now. What difference does it make? If I invite someone back for coffee, I don't expect to find this. You mean coffee as in sex? Upstairs, now! What, me or him? David! You've just told me to clear it up. How can I if I go upstairs? Can't have it both ways. Well, look, Al, maybe we should catch up at work here. Eh? It's probably not a great time, and we're both up early. Yes, of course. Thank you. It was lovely. See you tomorrow. So they were just a mate. Get out of my sight. You've got to be freezing, haven't you? What was you thinking of going up there? Everything. Whiskey, son? Jay, wait. Look, 
we can't run away from this one, can we? Hey, it's happened. There it is. I cannot change it now, but believe me, son, if I could, I would, I promise, I would give absolutely anything. I really would. But, you know, all we can do now is try and rescue something from it, eh? What do you say? I know I'm an idiot, I am. I mean, I hold my hands up, but, you know, she's just, Le Leanne, you, you know what she's like. Once she gets something in her head, don't get me wrong, I'm not blaming her or nothing. You know, not completely, and I've got to look at myself, I know that. But it's just women. You know, they can... <sighs> the thing is, it was just one big stupid mistake, you see. But you and me, we... All my life, you have been sneaking around, hurting Frankie. No, no, Jay, look. I love Frankie, I always have, and I always will, I promise. And I had to choose a parent, didn't I? Because of your cheating. And I chose the wrong one. No, you didn't choose the wrong one. You chose the stupid one, granted. But you didn't choose the wrong one. So. Well, I'm choosing again who my parents are. And you ain't gonna be one of them. As far as I'm concerned, I ain't got a father. Of course you haven't. No, I haven't. Not anymore. My dad is dead to me. Have you got that? He's dead. Coffee? No, thanks. You all right? <laughs> You're having a laugh, ain't you? Wife chucked me out. Son hates me guts. Yeah, I'm on cloud bleeding night. I only asked. It's a mess. So? Why did you do it? You must have known all this would happen. Funny enough, I didn't. I'll just mind my own business, shall I? Sorry, Adam. Listen, you're just a kid, mate. You wouldn't know what it's like. You know, at school, the master's always said the way to experience life was to live it. And the way to understand it was to talk to those who lived it first. I don't understand you, Danny. It's obvious you love Frankie. Look at the state of you. So why cheat on her? You make it sound so simple. If I loved a girl, I couldn't cheat on her. Well, that's just it, innit? I love Frankie more than anything else in the world, and I always have. It's like money, though. You're never content with what you got. You always want more. Agreed. I'm human, Adam, and I'm a bloke. Good-looking bird like Leanne Battersby comes along, offers it on a plate, and funny, it's times like that you tend to forget things like, oh, I love my wife. And your son. I didn't set out to hurt them. Any of them. It just sort of avalanched. When you start smoking, you don't think, oh, this is gonna kill me, do you? No, of course you don't. Before you know where you are, you're addicted. And I ain't proud of what I've done. No, I'm certainly not. I've gone to bed worried sick that I've smelt of Leanne and hoping and praying that Frankie ain't gonna notice. <laughs> yeah. I've even sat across the table from Leanne and Jamie. You've been there. I've been knowing what I do and think to myself, this is gonna kill him. But do you listen to them thoughts? No, you don't. You listen to the thoughts that go, don't worry, Dan, it's gonna be all right. You never get caught out. They'll never know. It means nothing. It's a joke. You see me phone? No. Oh, I'm gonna be late. I'll have to leave it. See you later. See, your loin's the most versatile. Cos you've got your chunk pen for steaks, and then you've got your rack for chops, your tenderloin, and your escalops. Well, I weren't thinking of cutting up chops. Nah, that's where I come in. That's what I'm saying. You keep the legs for Christmas, and I'll take the rest off your hands. Why don't you draw lines all over yourself? Why don't you talk about cutting your fat belly into chops? Because you don't get chops from belly, you get ribs and thick end. Joshua? What do you call pig's feet? Chapters! 
<laughs> he knows. <laughs> See, the, the thing is, I'm not keeping the legs. I've sold them. You have what? I've taken orders in Rovers. You have what? You can't do that. Fought by the Christmas hams off me. Yeah, well, I've sold three already. I mean, you can have the other one if you want. You've sold how many? You've only got two there, man. Typical amateur. <laughs> it's got four legs. No, it hasn't. It's got two legs and two hands. Hands and legs are completely different. Even our Joshua knows that. <laughs> well, I've, I've taken deposits now. How much does a pound of flesh fetch? Did you sell your soul too? Why don't we just leave it and wait till it dies of old age and then you can stuff it? How many times do I have to tell you I don't stuff a mount? Is he painting his nails? Aye. At least he's painting himself. Not drawing all over a defenceless animal. I bet you'd have a right cob on if someone sprayed all over your shop window. That best not be a threat, young lady. Don't you patronise me. Hey. She's not a young lady. How would you like it if I called you an old man? Yeah. How about a fat, bald old man? Or a fat butcher. Pigs have got feelings, you know. We're not around, so please leave a message. Gail, it's Phil. Are you there? I've left a message on your mobile. Just wanted to arrange to see you. Give me a ring. Anyone called? No. So you found a booze? Want one? No. Just get that down your neck, please, and get out. Not very hospitable. Oh, what do you want, Carol? Have you come here to gloat? I could. I could say you reap what you sow. Frankie says there's been other women, and there was me thinking you had the perfect marriage. See yourself out and take the bottle with you. For years, I thought it was my fault. For years. You said you couldn't live with me anymore. That I wore you down. You said I'd wear anybody down. And all the time it was you. Oh, don't kid yourself, love. I knew I'd made a mistake first day of our honeymoon. Just took me six years to do something about it, all right? You've broken his heart, you know that, don't you? Yes. He'll never forgive you. You're a selfish bastard, Danny Baldwin. You ruined my life. Now you've done the same to our son. Hiya. Andy, this is my bestest friend in the whole world, Deirdre. Please to me. Hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> Have you seen my T-shirt? It's got Batman on it. Oh. Oh, have you looked uh, down back fridge? We had a fatal attraction bit in the kitchen last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going out for lunch with Deirdre. We're go just going to the Rovers. Cool, I'm meeting my mum. Oh, uh, does she live round here? What's her name? I might have gone to school with her. Never mind that. You have a lovely time. I'll see you later then. Mm. I know what you're thinking. Oh, I'm saying nothing. Well, I'm glad to hear it, because otherwise I might have to bring up a certain Moroccan waiter. That was different. Me and Sammy loved each other. I'm just having a bit of fun, that's all. Mind, I'm glad I'm having lunch with you. I need a break. It's like having a puppy around the place, demanding walks every half hour. <laughs> You're a fool, Danny. I know. Not just over this. I was good for you. We was good together. <laughs> Remember that conference you took me to? The way I worked that room, flirting with all them fellas to get them contracts in? I bet Frankie never did anything like that. That was a long time ago, Carol. I've hated you for years, Danny. Really hated. You tore the guts out of me, do you know that? I've hated you for years, but I've...
I've never stopped loving you. You what? I mean it. It's always been you. Well, there have been other fellas. No one's ever come close to you. We could still be good together, Danny. I've changed a lot. I, I'm more easygoing. I, I could be anything you want me to be. I... You're not joking, are you? You honestly think I would consider getting back with you for one second? You stupid, deluded, drunk. Don't. You don't mean that. Look at the state. As if I'd look at you twice. As if any man would look at you twice, Carol. You are a washed up old lush. And I don't need you to sort things out with Jamie either. He's my son. I never disappeared for years. I know him. You've killed him. I'll sort it out. I'll sort it out. And I'll sort things out with Frankie. And that's what you can't handle, innit? That is what all this is about. Because Frankie and me belong together. And we will always be together. All you belong with is a bottle of booze. And you've got what you belong with. Nothing. Roses and lilies <laughs> <her kiss. laughs> Give him a scare. Well, anything, he don't understand, does he? Come on, come on. Sausages, sausages. There you go, there you go. There you go, my lovely. Well, I don't feel very lovely just now. We're talking to the pig. There you go, Porky. Got a little friend for you now, haven't I, eh? You have never bought another one. I did, on account of what you said. I needed another leg. You're turning this place into a farmyard. Audrey, I'm surprised that you were encouraging such behaviour. I got routine. I was just walking down the street, me. She's a champion pig herder, is Audrey. <laughs> you can have the biggest dam, I promise you. <laughs> You've never bought an ham off him. You always get your Christmas meat off me, Alice. Well... Of course she did. She knows good quality, free-range meat. She does, don't you, Audrey? Oh! <gasps> What's the matter? Well, I think I have just stepped in something free-range. <laughs> Oh. Here she is. Is this him? Yeah. Uh, what are you doing here? I thought you were meeting your mum. I did. This is her, Sheila. I, uh, as soon as Andy told me about you, I just had to meet you. Well, I'm very pleased to meet you. He's not stopped going on about you for days. Really? Have you? Oh, yeah. Tell Sheila everything. We're very close. More like brother and sister than mother and son. Really? And you're just like you said you'd be. Oh, we're going to be great mates, you and me, Liz. I just know it. Mm. <laughs> Tell you what, Les. Why don't I nip to Dev's and I can uh, get some eggs and bacon? Yeah, you can go fry up to your taxi. It won't come off. What's going on? Oh, some pillock spilt oil all over my back seat. You as well? I was just coming to get some cloth for my back seat. You what? There's oil all over my back seat. I thought someone shopping had leaked or something. Oh, what's going on, eh? Andy tells me you live with your son, Liz. I'm glad. It's special, isn't it? The bond between mother and son. Where is he? Andy said he's single. Perhaps we could do something, the four of us. I don't think so. No. No, he's not really single. He's married. Only his wife left him. Oh, the love. And you stepped in to look after him, mother him. You must be very close. How long did you breastfeed for? I fed Andy till he was three. <clears throat> Actually, Andy, there is something I've been meaning to tell you. I'm married, aren't I, girls? Oh, yes. You never said. Where's in prison? For manslaughter. No. You see, I didn't think it were worth saying anything. Only I... Uh... He phoned just as we were leaving the flat. Yeah, he's up for parole. 
So he could be out in days. Oh, Liz, that's fantastic. You must be thrilled. Oh, yeah, I am. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, it's such a shame. I do think it's best if we end this now, otherwise we'll just get more hurt. Especially you. I mean, Jim's the sort who breaks a leg first and asks questions later. Mm. I don't mind. No bit of karate. No, but uh, she still uh, loves him. Despite everything. Yeah. She hates herself for it. Knows it makes her seem weak and pathetic. But what can she do? So, there you go. It has been fantastic. And I can honestly say I'll never forget you, either of you. Oh, love, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it's just a bit of fun. Oh, love, come on. Let's get you home. Can we have one last kiss? Uh, it's best not. Oh, my God. Oh, give me a drink. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of wife swapping, but never son swapping. <laughs> Freaks! The sooner you get away from here, the sooner you can get your head together. It's going to be brilliant. A fresh start. That's what you need. What do you think, Frank? Yeah, probably for the best. Good. Right. See, even Frankie agrees. Come on, let's get packing. Besides, you've got nothing left round here. I have. What, love? I said I have. I've got Frankie. I can't just leave her. Well, why not? She's been good to me. Good to you? She knew your dad was screwing around with Leanne. She didn't tell you. I don't need this. Look, I know. I also know that she did that because she didn't want me to get hurt. She didn't come running across the street blurting it out. Oh, so now I'm in the wrong. No, I'm not saying that. We all know who's in the wrong, and it's no one in this room. I just think Frankie needs me right now. I'm sorry, I'm not leaving her. You should go. I've made up my mind. I don't believe this. Oh, come on, Mum. It's not that big a deal. Yeah. Of course. You're right, of course you are. Yeah. Well, besides, I've got stuff to talk out. and You're best off stopping here with Frankie. Anyone free? Carson Road? Carson Road, anyone? I've got jobs lining up and no one to cover them. Probably all hoaxes. Or Italian jobs. You know, if someone pours olive oil over the back seat of your cab. Well, I don't know where Steve and Ronnie are. Well, they're not on the road? No. Nope. Well, hang on, we're at war here. And those who can't even be able to show up. I get on the blow. It's time to get the butts over here, F-A-S-T. Actually, no. No, on second thoughts, they need the beauty sleep. Put a call out to all drivers, time to finish the jobs and return to base. But what about all these other jobs? Eileen, please, just, just do it. We should be at work by now. We're working from home. I'm your boss, remember? That was work, was it? Well, it's team bonding. Now this is a breakfast meeting. A chance for me to review your progress with the company so far. But I'd say I bought you nothing but trouble. Well, one or two little glitches. But overall, I'm very impressed with your work. Steve, I don't think you're taking all this very seriously. In fact, I think you'll be a very valuable member of the company for years to come. Now, what do you want on your toes, jam or...? Marmite, please. And I had another hoax call this morning. I went all the way to the airport. Yeah? And someone wrote scum on my back window. Oh, well, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Oh, Look, in the last few days, we've seen a campaign against us, and it is a campaign. Yeah, it is. Get yeah, dirtier. Yeah. Someone's trying to drive us out of business. Oh, hello. Is this a private meeting, or could anyone join in? Steve, didn't think you were coming in today. Oh, you were hoping I wasn't going to come in today. Something's got to be done, kid, or this business is going down the pan. Oh, right, well, what course of action do you have in mind? Well, I'm open to suggestions. Oh, turn it in. You're just trying to whip this lot into a frenzy so you can force Ronnie out. It's not down to me who works here, kid. You've made that abundantly clear. We never had any trouble till she started working here. We are very lucky to have someone of her experience who wants to work here. <laughs> Steve, if she was a bloke, you'd get rid of her like a shot. I will not give in to a bully. I'm getting married in three weeks. I can't afford to lose any more wages. So fight back. What? 
Let's show Jimmy Clayton that we are not scared. I mean, come on, we've had a few prank phone calls. Let's show him that we're not scared ring Clayton's firm and order a few cabs ourselves. You just make matters worse. I don't need this any more than you do. It's best if I just leave. Well, well hang on a minute, you can't just walk out. Well, she's not going. I'm telling you, she is not going. Looks like she already has. It's such a pity. You were doing so well. That's what you think. She's like Puff the Magic Dragon out there some days. That is not true. I've had the occasional cigarette. After all the hoo-ha we had, have you giving up? I know. It's such a disgusting, filthy habit. Dad, get off her back. What a surprise are you being so tolerant with a two-year-old in the house? She doesn't want to smoke. That's why she gave up. If you want to kill yourself, fine. It's a secrecy I can't abide. Ken, I've had a sneaky fag, not an affair. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but it is a bit like having an affair, creeping around, lying to people. And how long has it been going on? Weeks? Months? Since August. The court case. Liz offered me a cigarette without thinking, and I took it without thinking. Once a smoker, always a smoker. That's what I say. Oh, thank you, Mother, for those words of comfort. Well, look at the money you've wasted on patches and videos. That doesn't make a heap of a difference. Oh, not if you haven't got any willpower, it doesn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll start again. I mean, I'll stop again. I mean, I'll... I'll start stopping. Yeah, whatever. I know, that's a phrase I, I don't like, I, I loathe, but on this occasion, it seems to be highly appropriate. Where are you going? Oh, well, after sitting through all that, I need a fag. Don't know what I'm going to do without you. You'll be fine. Them lot driving you away. It's not fair. Janice, I've already missed three buses. I've, I've got to get this one. But I don't want you to go. I'll be in touch soon, I promise. No, you won't. You'll go and you'll never come back. Jimmy Clayton. Mr. McDonald, I presume. That's right. This is my son, Nick. All right, mate. It was you who wanted to talk. Uh, yeah, um. Well, I was hoping we could uh, sort our differences out amicably rather than um, having to go at each other all the time. No one's been getting at me. No, but... I've heard you've had a spot of bother. You're not suggesting I had anything to do with it, are you? OK, look, I'll... Um, I'll cut to the chase. I know you saw me with Ronnie this afternoon. I haven't set out to upset you. It's just that... Well, emotions don't work that way, do they? Look, the thing is, you can do what you like to me, and streetcars. You can put me in hospital, you can put me out of business, you can make it so I never see Ronnie again. But after what she said to me, that's not going to bring her back. I know that's not what you want to hear right now, and, well, I'd be the same if I was in your shoes. But as it is that way, I was wondering whether we could, um, well, call it a truce. You've got a bottle, I'll give you that. Streetcars can help, we can stay off your patch. There's not many people would have the guts to come and say all that to me face. So what do you think? I think you might have a point. So, uh, can we have a drink to that? Mm -hmm. 
Are you going soft in your old age? Oh, I have a heart, Nick. You can't whack someone who says things like emotions don't always work like that. It's not often I have an intellectual conversation. I like to make the most of it. Can we call a truce? You're knocking my missus off. Is he straight out of the nut house or what? So what are you thinking? You can't just whack someone like that. That'd be a waste of a go. You've got to take your time and think of something special. When I finish with Stephen McDonald, I wish he'd never been born. Is this some kind of a joke? No, if it were a joke, I'd say horse walks into pub. <laughs> <laughs> it's a music roster. Yeah. There's, um, there's something for everyone. Uh, except rap. Yeah, they're frightened of ghetto truths. True saying. So, you're all in this, are you? Don't look at me. I don't care what I listen to as long as it's not her. Oh, she's only morning because we couldn't find boring FM. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bit of fun, Adam. <laughs> well, I don't think so. Uh, what are you doing now? Hey, that took us ages, that did. The day the music died. <sighs> Everyone back to work. In a break. <laughs> Sorry, I can't take your call. Please leave. Sorry, I can't take your call. Please leave a message. Um, hi, Phil. Scale. Um, sorry about the misunderstanding. I'm, um, I'm not trying to avoid you. I, uh, I think there's something wrong with the phone. Anyway, uh, I was wondering if, um, well, that's if you're not busy. Um, I was wondering if you'd like to do something with me when you get back. Anyway, um, give me a call. Bye. I missed you. I've been looking everywhere for you. Well, now you've found me, Andrew. Well, that isn't the answer. Well, when I want your opinion, I'll give it to you, all right. What are you doing? I'm doing my job, Danny. You need some motivation. <laughs> The whole place is falling apart, Danny. I mean it. If we are not careful, we're going to have anarchy. Like I said, deal with it. You mean like you are? Hiding in here, drinking yourself silly. That's what Janice wants. She's taking liberties. And so have I, Adam. I don't like what you've done, Danny. But you're still the boss. What am I going to do with you, like, eh? I'll give you an inch, you take a foot. I'll give you a foot. You want to bite me legs off? Can anyone tell me what this is? A radio. Like a razor. But it ain't just any old radio, is it? No. This one is magic. I knew this fella who had magic trousers. Yeah? As soon as he put them on, he disappeared. When I'm talking, you listen, eh? Well, it might help if we knew what you were going on about. See, the radio is a privilege, just like the overtime and the occasional elastic lunch hours some of you take. Like you, you mean? Shut up. Hey, don't speak to her like that. I will talk to her exactly how I want. And do you know the reason why, Fuzz? It's because I pay her, like I pay all of you, to do a job and not to play silly beggars. Right? Whoops. My favourite song, The Sound of Silence. Privileges are to be earned. Got it? Now, any questions, people? I've got one, Mr Baldwin. 
How is the family? Something funny? Yeah. You are sacked. You are? You are sacked. Now that is music to my ears. Excuse I. Do you know what? You should go in there and tell your boss what's what. I'm staying out of it, Janice. This is between you and Danny. <laughs> Not anymore. You see, what you fail to understand is that us workers stick together. <laughs> have you got something to say? Yeah, I have, actually. Who's organising the leaving do? You can't just sack you, Mr Baldwin. Hayley, I know you mean well, love. In my elected role, I have to... Do yourself a favour, Hales, and keep your beak out of it, all right? She hasn't done anything to warrant this. You're having a laugh, ain't you, love? That pug-faced mare has been throwing her weight around since she's found out. I don't understand. She's known about this for weeks. She ain't worried about Leanne. She's just choked the gravy trains over. That's what's the matter with her. And I don't mind taking flat from my own, but I am not going to take it from her, all right? Even so, under the terms and conditions of her employment, Mr Baldwin... Listen! This is the thin end of the wedge. If I back down, love, I'm a eunuch. Have you got that? It's unfair dismissal. Since when has life been fair, Hayley? You've had your five minutes. That's enough. Thank you. Come on, everybody. Let's get back to work, please. Well? Oh, he can't just sack Janet. No, no, he can't. So, so what are you going to do about it? Well, I think Janice has got a very good case for unfair dismissal. Yeah, but what about now? Ailey, can't got your tongue. I think it might be better if you just leave me to sort it out, yeah? Come on, Janice. I'll have to escort you out of the building. Well, if she goes, so do I. Me too. And me. But you can't. Watch us. All for one and one for all. Ailey, please do something. Mr Baldwin wants to talk. He knows where to find us. Come on, he's got rid of me home. You ain't the lady. Hello. <laughs> what are we meant to do now? Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but uh, I could do with a drink. Sounds like a plan to me. Uh, aren't we supposed to pick it or something? Oh. Let him stew a bit. It's called foreplay, love. <laughs> really? Come on. Thanks, like. I don't believe this. Don't worry, they'll be back. When? Danny, you've got to do something. Sally, love, how'd you fancy some overtime? Great. Sorted. This is all your fault. I'm calling, Dad. I'm going dead. Well, whilst you're at it, why don't you tell him how his staff think that his precious little snot-nosed son is a joke? At least he's still got a son. I do not believe this. The United Front for the Rebel, got it? Justice for Janice! Justice, Justice for Janice! Justice for Janice! Justice for Janice! Justice for Janice! Adam, call the mounted police, cos they definitely got me worried. Oh, well, you won't be laughing when you can't meet your orders. Whereas you lot will be thrilled, of course, won't you? Cos I will go broke and then you lot will be on the rock and roll with Lippy. Lovely. Now, do us a favour, girls, eh? Get out of the way before I actually do call the old Bill. We're not going anywhere. Confrontation will gain us nothing. <clears throat> Look! It's Let Moenza without the Tash. No, I want you to go in there, Mr Baldwin. I want you to see what an empty factory looks like, sounds like. Because unless you reinstate Janice, you'll have to get used to it. <laughs> Justice for Janice! Justice for Janice! 
you know about these mobiles, don't you? A bit. Mine's on the blink. Having trouble with incoming messages. Any ideas? Well, it's a different make to mine. I'm like, I better get my stuff or I'm going to David, go wait! Are you sure you Please. don't know what's happening? Hi, Gran, you all right? Hi, lovey. Oh. Uh-huh. Hi, ma'am. I was going to call round at the salon and see you in a bit. Wondered if you could do anything with this. Oh, it doesn't look too bad to me. Unless you've got a special occasion. Uh, no, it's just, um, it's just Phil coming round for something to eat later on. Well, I'd call that a special occasion. Hey, ma'am, it's no big deal. It's only a meal. Anyway, um, Scooter and Sarah have agreed to stop out for the night, so, uh, wondered if you'd take David and Bethany. So you two could have some quality time, huh? Well, it <laughs> might help. <laughs> David! Oh. I do always find a chucky Ah, oh, better late than never, I suppose. Yeah, well, she's had children to attend to. It's better excuse than some. Hiya, Sal. Hiya. Uh, now, listen, they've opened up and they've gone in, but they know we're here, all right. So we put our bags over and we... Uh, what, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Hayley, this isn't my fight. I've got mouths to feed. Oh, oh no, Sally, please! Please don't do this. We all need the money, but it's a matter of principle. We've got to stand I'm together. Sorry, Helly, get out of here! 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 Get out of off her. Oh, you must be so proud, Kevin. Yeah, well, some people aren't worth striking for. Uh, oh, what's that supposed to mean, like? Oh, you had the push coming, love. Any of you lot lay your hands on my missus again, and there'll be trouble. Oh, yeah, what are you going to do about please, it? Please, please, just leave it. Please, leave it. Scab lover! Scab lover! Things. I, I misread. No, really didn't. I want to. I can't. You don't have to explain. No. It's not you. It's me. I just. I can't. Come on. No. You're upset. I can't possibly leave you like this. No. Just go. Please. I'll call you. I don't have a lot of experience, but... No, you ain't. Them poncy private schools don't teach you much, do they? He has learned a lot over the last few months. Don't mean to say we've got to listen to his opinions, though, does it, Pen? It's not opinion. We have got workers. They're not good enough. Look, can we talk about football or something? There's no need to argue amongst ourselves. Listen, you want to go and sell a few pairs of knickers, be my guest. I'm management. There is management, Adam, and there's the boss's son. It ain't exactly the same, got it? Look, I don't need to listen to this over the breakfast table. No, you're right. So get your porridge down here and shut up. I'll buy something and rise. See you both later. Yeah, OK, son. Why do you take it out on him, eh? Cos he gets on me nerves, that's why. The strike's upsetting everybody and nobody likes a bad atmosphere. Really? Well, let's pull together then, shall we? Well, we do in public. It's when we get home. Michael, Adam, is soft. He just ain't got a clue. He didn't get us into this position. Yeah, yeah. Cheer up. What am I going to do, Penny? 
I'm stuck in the middle of this lot. Got Adam and Danny on one side, Janice and the loudmouths on the other. You're not worried about a pack of machinists. They don't worry me. But Adam and Danny, they do. What do you reckon to him? Oh, no, I don't fancy him. Oh, no, me neither. Is he that bad? No. Oh, oh. Bonnie's girls, Bonnie's. Oh, yeah, let's show them what I made of. We shall all Stop it, it's bad enough without you giving it all back. No, leave her. I like a bit of noise pollution first thing in the morning. Are you prepared to reinstate Janice, Mr Baldwin? No. Nice holiday, Mr Baldwin. Yes. Paid for by the likes of me, Mr Baldwin. Not anymore, Janice. You're not earning. You couldn't afford to buy yourself a holiday. And there's no way that you'd have enough money to foot the bill for mine. Two months till Christmas. Oh, bless. Did you hear that? Little boy said his first words. And the next one here says, goodbye, here's your cards. Yeah, he's right, though. I do start saving usually around about this time. Yes, so do I. Oh, hey, yo. Oh. Here comes the scab. But there's no shortage of crackers in her house. Right, when you not see a bit of sense, you know where the door is, walk in. Come on. More energy into striking. Never did work. Yeah, right. All right, girls, there you go. Same machines as before. That's it, get on with it. Right, I've opened up the back door because there's no sense in waltzing them all through rent gob is there? This lot haven't waltzed in a long time. Oh, what, and you can do better, can you? I've got better standard outside. Yeah, he's right. They made a few mistakes yesterday, granted, but they'll be OK today. They, they've had more than enough experience. Look, let's bring a bit of common sense to this, shall we? Get Janice in the office, right, tear off a strip and tell her that she's on her final warning. How many times have you done that? As many times as necessary. You ain't gonna do it anymore because it is now a matter of principle. She can sing for her job. You call that singing? Keep out of it, McTavish. You leave him alone. And for the record, principles don't mean a thing to me. It's a profit that counts. You're not gonna get much out of this lot. I'll send him home now if I was you. You weren't after the way I've carried on. I... I owe you an apology. You don't. I should have been more sympathetic. There's no need. Well, look, everything came out wrong. I didn't mean to hassle you, and I'm sorry about this morning. There were too many people around. I, I, I bottled it. No, I'm, I just wanted to run back into the house. I've no confidence. Some Richard Hillman. I should have been understanding. I haven't been near him a man. We can take it easy, Gail. Go as slow as you like. It wouldn't matter. I'm sorry. Why don't we see what happens? I know what will happen. I can't help it. I am. I don't think we should see each other. I'm sorry. Listen, what I do in my own time is my own business. Not on this street. The secrets will always find you. So, look, what do you want me to do? Consult Janice Battersby every time I see a pretty face? No, consult your marriage lines. They'll tell you who you should be knocking about with. Oh, right, yeah, of course. And you kept on the straight and narrow, didn't you? Well, no, but I, I should have. All right. Look, that strike out there's got nothing to do with Frankie or Leanne. My out of hours activities has consequences. That much I learned about life. I haven't learned anything else. You're a hypocrite. You've had affairs and you've dropped kids all over the place. You wouldn't know half of them if they stood in front of you. I know you. Yeah, well, luckily, I'm your nephew, and I, and I just turned up out of the blue to claim me inheritance. You didn't have to. I claimed it for you. And what's that supposed to mean? The mistakes you're making, I know. I've done them all myself. I lost the best things in my life. I've, I've, I've walked away from them. I said nothing, and I lived to regret it. 
Well, you're lucky, aren't you? Because you've got your son in air back now, ain't you? Eh? For all the good it's doing you. It's doing me no good at all because he doesn't know. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Day by day, he's counting the money that's coming to him. No, he's not. Yes, he is! I'm not talking about Adam. Well, is there anyone else here, then? There's you. Me. You're my son, too. Look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but... You're not my brother's son. You're mine. It's not true. You're just messing with me head. You're winding me up. Does Janice Battersby really mean that much to you, Michael? Because I've got to be honest with you, Uncle. You had me worried there for a sec. You are my son. No, no, no. That's where you're wrong, you see. I'm not your son. In fact, I'm your daughter. That's who I am. Yeah. Stop the press. Call the Weatherfield Gazette. Let's have a few photos and all. In fact, I'll tell you what's happened. I've swapped bits with Ailey Cropper. She became a woman and I became a man. What about that for a bombshell, Mike? Eh? Get your head around that one. Don't move. Everybody out! But it's not I don't 20. care. Go on. Yeah, but if we carry on, we can at least... I'm sorry. Have I made a mistake? Are you now running this factory? No. No nothing. I'm the boss. And if I say go home, what do you do? As I'm told. Good. Eureka, chop, chop, live it up, get out. Come on! How long ago did Fizz go for them crisps? Uh, what are you doing? It's only 20 past. What's going on, Scab? Everything is fine. Uh, yeah, well, you're early. Baldwin never lets anybody out early. Well, maybe it's an appreciation for all our good work. Can't be that much of a surprise, huh? Look at us. What's your game, eh? I'm telling you the truth. There's something wrong with your head, isn't there? Come out with something like this. You could be wired up all wrong. If my dad could hear this, he'd slap you. He knew, didn't he? Yeah. He knew all along. He knew his lying, cheating little brother had been sleeping with his wife. No, no, he didn't. Mate. Yes, he did know. Don't lie. That's why you fell out. Had nothing to do with a shop or a business. Because you'd been sleeping with my mum. It's true, isn't it? You are my dad. But that's what I've been... Shut up! Shut up. All this time. You know, his own brother. I betrayed him in the worst possible way. No, no. Yeah. And that's why he gave me such a hard time. Because <laughs> he knew I wasn't his son. Everything I did was wrong. In his eyes, I knew nothing, nothing at all. Because he looked at me and he saw you, his own brother, smirking back at him. No. Yes, he did, and that is why he hated the sight of me. It wasn't like that. Really? I think it was a bit of a laugh, did you, Michael? Hey, Having your brother's wife. But the pair of you laughing at him behind his back. Well, you ain't laughing now, are you? In fact, you know what? You look frightened, Michael, and so you should be. Cos my old man owes you a smack in the mouth. And I might just do that last one thing for him. I heard you went to work. That's right. So why'd you do it? Don't tell me I know why you did it. You did it cos you could, didn't you? Don't lie. You did it cos it didn't mean anything, cos if it did, you'd still be living with Mum. I'm right, and I? 
Does Adam know? No. But Penny does. Yeah, me, uh, Penny and your mum. You gonna tell Adam? I don't know. I mean, what do you think? He's young, he could get upset. Let's do what's best for Adam, eh? Don't think it'd be that much of a surprise. What do you reckon? Anything else you're gonna surprise us with, Michael? Any more skeletons in that cupboard of yours? No. You're not gonna tell me Warren's yours, are you? Or Jamie? Or you've been having a go at my wives and all? Look, I know you're upset and angry. I mean, that's fair enough. But, I mean, it's not all that easy on me, either. It's as new to me as it is to you. Really? I only found out when Viv came up after the funeral. You had an affair with your brother's wife over 40 years ago. I know. Nine months later, a little bundle of joy arrives with a suspicious twinkle in its eye. I thought you was good at maths. I didn't think. What do you do, Mike, then? Just wipe it out of your memory bank. Look, you know what it is. You put these things in your back of your mind and you don't go there. I mean, you know what it's like. You tell me. When you were in bed with Leanne, how did you manage to forget that she was Jamie's girlfriend? Let me tell you something about my dad, eh? He lacked a bit of drive. He admitted it himself. A bit slow, a bit quiet. Not like you, eh? Hey, down the pub. Big cigar. Old in court. Flashy suits. Do you know what he was? He was a decent man. And I've pulled some stunts in my time. But whenever I was up against it, back was against the wall. Up to my eyes in the sticky stuff. I always thought of my dad. And I reckon no matter how stupid I'd been, there was always a little bit of that decent man in me. He's been playing on my mind. I was just wondering, what size girdle do you wear? Ow! It can't be that much of a shock. I mean, how many people have said we're like two peas in a pod? It's turned my world upside down as well, you know. But when I look at you, I'm, I'm proud. I am, I'm truly, truly proud. Well, where are you going? I'm not. You are. Go on. Why don't you come home, Danny? We'll talk about this. No, no, no. Go on, you go. But I, I don't want to leave you like this. Like what? I'm worried about you. What are you worried about, Michael? Well, that you might do something stupid. Oh, right. Like what? Like this. Now, what else can I smash up, eh? No, there's no need to do anything else. Look, I'll... I'll go, but... What are you gonna do? What's it got to do with you, eh? Who do you think you are? Your dad. <clears throat> what did he want? Dunno, don't care. He's not gonna do anything stupid. Dunno what he's gonna do. He's Danny. He'll be all right. And how about you? Are you all right? Tired. I feel like I've been arguing all day. 
I never expected him to welcome me with open arms and give me a hug. Well, what did you expect? Oh, I, I expected him to handle it better. Mike, he's just been told his 40-year relationship with his dad is a lie. No, but I thought he liked me. There's a difference between liking someone and wanting them to be your dad. Here, calm down. So you're not worried about him? Well, of course I'm worried about him. I don't know if he'll ever talk to me again. I don't even know if I'll ever see him again. Oh, I don't know. I made a mess of every relationship I've ever had. Sons, wives, brothers. This is my punishment. Well, you haven't made a mess with me. Not yet. Give it time. <laughs> Is everything all right? Yeah, of course it is, son. Uh, have you had anything to eat? Um, bag of crisps, some biscuits. Oh, well, why don't I fix us something to eat? How about an, an omelette or some pasta? He prefers pasta. Yeah, pasta's good. See? I've seen him devour plate after plate of pasta and still come back for more. I know my son. Pick up ten minutes, Piccadilly, um, Mrs. Sunderland. Here's the boss about. Hang on a minute. Hey, mate, you can't come back here. Where is he? He isn't here. Listen, we, we don't want any trouble. We? Oui. My wife might be a slag, but I doubt she's looked twice at you. I didn't mean that. Um, look, mate, I know how you feel. I am not your mate. No, of course you're not. But I'm on your side, honest. And I've tried talking to Steve, and if you ask me, he's acting like a real plonker. But if you give me some time, I reckon I can get him to put a stop to this, sort things out without any more funny business. Read the lips. I'm looking for the organ grinder, not the monkey. She just called me a monkey. Maybe I should have brought you some bananas and all. You'll be telling me to go back to the jungle next. Make my life a lot easier if you did. Look, I don't care how busy you are, we've got to talk. Kelly, babe, this is not a good time. Who's this? Maybe you should tell your monkey mate to get back to the jungle and all. What did you just say to me? You just crossed over the line. Did, did you hear what he just said to me? Yeah, I did, I did. He's got to apologise, aren't you? Maybe. OK, babe, look, you just go back to the Rovers, yeah? I can handle this. Just go, eh? Right. Baby, just go back to the Rovers, eh? I can handle this. Now, where is Steve McDonald? Oh, <laughs> you think I'm going to tell you now? I thought you just said to my girlfriend. Let's start this again. Only this time you can ask me nicely. My name's Lloyd, but you can call me. Mr. Milani. And you can throw a please in and all. And when I top that with a sir, I asked you a question. I'm still waiting for my apology. You can go to hell. I'm not sure if that's a step up from the jungle or no. You have just made a big mistake, Lloyd. You just turned the dispute into a war. So leave a message after the tone. Pick up the phone if you're there, Mum. I, uh, just ring in to see if he was OK, that's all. Oh, we don't want the unions here. Oh, yes, we do. I'll make sure everybody joins it. No, we can sort this out amongst ourselves, uh, you and me. I mean, to be honest, Danny thinks he's running this place, but he's not doing much running at the moment, is he? If you and me... Sit down, Emma. If you and me don't like something, it doesn't happen. I mean, we are the important people here, and you've proved that already by getting those girls to walk through that door with you. Yes, exactly. So you don't want some stranger taking three or four quid out your wages each week, do you, to do something that you could do? You are the only mouthpiece that those girls need. And you can talk rings around any fat cat union boss that I've ever come across. I'm glad you realise it. Oh, I do realise it. And I realise the situation I'm in here, even if Danny doesn't. What are you going to do about it, then? Well, for a start, I've typed a full apology. 
Series Slayer? Yeah. In my in tray. Will I get my job back? Oh, of course, yeah. What about the radio? <gasps> wow! Now you're talking. <laughs> you will leave this office a hero. You know that, don't you? It's only right. So, if you sign that, I'll pass it over to Danny. You want me to apologise to him? Oh, no chance. Right then, here are their P45s. Take them with you. <laughs> you can't do this. The way I see it, you've got two choices. Get your radio back and get your job back. Look like you're the winner. And nobody needs to know. It'll come out your first week's wages. You want me to pay for it? Yeah, but that'll be our little secret. Unless you want credit for it. I mean, you can say that uh, you coughed up for it or you forced me to pay for it and uh, no one will ever know that I've cut your bonuses for the next three months. It hasn't been easy for me either, Danny. My heart bleeds for you, Mum. I mean, no one to share it with. Nobody knowing. <laughs> well, I've got news for you. They knew. No, I, I never told no one. You sleep with your brother's wife, nine months later, she has a baby. You'd know. Trust me. Well, he never asked about it. I bet he didn't. There was no point in hurting him. There was always a distance between me and him. Always a distance between us. But I just thought that's how it was between the dad and his lad. You know, I just thought that was normal. But, of course, there was a reason why he was like that, wasn't there? Hey, There was a reason why he'd just sit there in this chair, looking at me the way he did, working away at the arms of his chair like this. Danny. He never treated me like a son, did he? He never did, not once. And you know why? Because I wasn't, that's why. Because I wasn't his son. That is why. And he knew it. But I don't blame him anymore. I don't blame him any more because... What about me, eh, Mum? Always said I'd do better with my two. Be closer. I've got one in Spain I haven't spoken to for months and the other one across the street is never going to speak to me again. I lost my dad. I couldn't shed a tear for him at his funeral. I've lost my wife. I've lost everything. Everything. I've got nothing, nothing at all. And it's all your fault. Oh, no, Danny. Just... No. 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 No.